2020 belt winner, Noah up next, will take on YouTube star T.D. Barrett. Looking to make some noise going from content creator to competitive player. He says this is his goal. Uh, cut inside. There goes Saquon to the house for Noah up next. Come on, man. Come on. One more stop. One more stop. It's over. I promise you. Well, it's picked up nicely. Culpepper's outside of the pocket. He's taking the shot. He has him. Into the end zone. A touchdown for T.D. Barrett. The YouTube star with the phenomenal dot. Into the Barkley. Wide open. Walks into the end zone. Thank you. Come on, man. One stop. One more stop. It's Dante Culpepper inside. Big time drive right there by T.D. Barrett. What a ball game we have, Nick. Well, as you can see, live in-game, Glendale, Arizona, the site of this year's Super Bowl, we will see the Kansas City Chiefs take on the Philadelphia Eagles. But for the moment, we're in Redwood City, California, as we will get to take a look at a little Super Bowl preview game here live from the studios. As two players who are fairly familiar with themselves battle it out for nothing but bragging rights and possibly uh, a idea of what we will see in the Super Bowl coming up in just about a week's time. So happy to have you guys along with us. Nick Mazesco alongside one great user, Tyler Davis, Boogs, and Clef the God. We have a fantastic game today, TD, as we will see TD Barrett take on Noah. Super Bowl preview game, Chiefs, Eagles, Regs action. These guys know each other pretty well. Yeah, they know each other pretty well. A rematch from a few years ago. Obviously, Noah, a little bit of a favorite in this matchup, especially at Regs. But T.D. Barrett, no slouch. He primarily plays Regs a lot as well, of course, on YouTube. So, excited to see what these guys got. You said a Super Bowl preview. Chiefs, Eagles, should be a great one. Folks, Regs makes this interesting. If this was Mutt, I think Noah's a big favorite. But the Regs realm, especially since Noah will be those Eagles, you give T.D. Barrett Patrick Mahomes could be dangerous. Oh, yeah, it definitely can be dangerous. And this is one of those games where it's like, as pro Madden players, you're always looking at it like you don't you don't want to lose to a YouTuber. Those guys are really thinking of it like that. Like, I do not want to lose to the guy, the YouTube guy. So there's definitely a lot of pressure on Noah to get this one done. Clef, this Chiefs team's going to be tough this Sunday. Patrick Mahomes, we know we got a little bit of an ankle issue, but I, I feel like he's going to be a gamer coming up on Sunday. Patrick Mahomes, he is a special, special talent. You know, I think in a few years, he's going to really enter that GOAT conversation already and he's still so young you know the ankle was hurt versus the Bengals and we still see him scramble for a first down with everything on the line man I'm just excited to see how he deals with the Eagles pass rush and he's just a gamer he's just one of the ones he is a special special breed I, I could talk about the game with user but I, I don't know if you watch football like that I mean you know what I'm saying the drip y'all wondering you know what I'm saying the team we had to do a model Rico a model makeover and, and it was a struggle but look, let's be honest, man, like, we put it together. We really put it together. If you looking at it from head to toe, man, I'm going to go ahead and break it down. There was three coaches, me, Clef, the God, and Boogs. Now, I don't know where Ty was. He was somewhere getting a massage or something. I don't know what he was doing. But at the end of the day, let me tell you, from top to – from head, I'm, can, we, can we get you to walk around? We, we will. We'll get it in a bit. We got to show this man ankles, man. It's out man of control. Looking fly. He looking fly. So – you know, Nick, you did a great job. Listen, like I told you, we gave you the blueprint. Now it's up for you to carry the torch. You feel me? Can you continue this swag, this drip, after today? Indeed. Uh, I hope to make you proud. I hope to make you proud. I, I feel proud, man. <laughs> Out here. You know, leveraging the game-changing impact of the Field Sense gameplay system, today EA released the Madden NFL 23 Super Bowl 57 simulation. Let's see what was predicted. Super Bowl 57, we almost there. What the? Nah, no, that's not what we're doing. Mm-mm. No. Kansas City Chiefs taking on the NFC champion Philadelphia Eagles. This can't be for real. Super Bowl 57, here we go. 
Let's go. Back to pass. Oh, he's going deep. That's the way to get in there, boy. I like it. What a catch. Touchdown. That boy good. He got hands. Oh, shredding the block and the hit. It's picked off. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Eagles. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. Please tell me y'all just saw that. All right, gents, what do we think? Uh, how, how'd the simulation do? Is that is that how it's going to go on Sunday? Uh, I don't think it's going to go like that on Sunday. I mean, it'd be nice. You know, the Eagles fans, hmm, I'm not too sure. You got Patrick Mahomes, man. He's just a stud. I feel like he has to win this game to prove his legacy or where he's going to carry this league, and I feel like he gets it done. Anybody else? Uh, I don't think it's accurate either. And also, I'm just really just kind of rooting against my Eagle fan friends. Wow. That's really what it comes down to. I mean, if to. Chris Jones gets two sacks, though, like we saw there, it puts the Chiefs in a good spot. So I don't I, know. I've seen a thing that Madden has been wrong. Like, it's like one in four, of the, or it's like the last four of the simulations have been wrong. So I feel like it's going to be wrong again. I think the last time the Madden simulation was correct, it was when the Chiefs were in the Super Bowl against the 49ers, and they picked the Chiefs correctly. So Chiefs back in this one. I know there are a lot of Eagles fans out there. They're like, hold on. Why, why are we getting disrespected like this? Uh, it will be interesting to see, and we're going to have a great representation tonight with our Super Bowl preview. Before we get there, we've got some reveals, guys. Uh, it, it, this wouldn't be a Madden show without some reveals. And we start things off with the items coming out tomorrow. This one, the big one, okay? We're going to just reveal this one. Kyler Murray, 97 overall wild card item, 96 speed. He comes out of the gate with 96 throw power. Uh, and let me give you what we're looking at for these ability buckets. Because at the end of the day, this is what everybody cares about. Boogs, dashing for one, slinger for for one, pass lead elite for three, fearless for two. This might be an option for some guys not looking to get the top end players out there at quarterback, maybe some of those budget ballers. Yeah, and he has the 96 speed, he has all those abilities, so that's going to make him a useful quarterback, just off of the simple fact that he has 96 speed. Anytime you have a mobile quarterback, he's valuable and useful. 5'10", 207, you're going to be copping, Kyler? Nah, I don't think I'll be getting him. You know, I, I'm I'm a daughter now, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, People, obviously. Yeah, yeah, hey, 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 hey. I said I'm a daughter now. That's right. I'm a surgeon back there in the pocket. I need somebody like, you know, John Elway, Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be mobile anymore. I just throw dots and lasers. All right, he's just lying straight on stream. <laughs> Anyways, uh, here are the AK items that are in-game today. We start off with that Harrison Smith, the hitman at strong safety, 97 overall. We also get to add a wide receiver to the game. This one I think people are pretty excited for. How about D-Hop? Former Clemson Ooh. Tiger. D-Hop, 96 speed, 97 spec catch. And then we close things off with mm. a former Buckeye, a Cleveland Brown, Denzel Ward. By the way, Clef might be my favorite art I've seen so far. Yeah, this is the best card art I think I've ever seen. Like, everything just go together. The name, the card art, the outfit, the speed. I mean, it's going to be tough, too. Tyreek, the cheetah was tough, too. It can't Tyreek. be tougher than this, though, man. Oh, no. This is crazy. Like, this is, this is They're crazy. They're putting in work back there. We got to get it to them. Well, how about we give it to somebody out there as we have a dump truck giveaway. We're not just giving away those three AK items. We're giving away that Kyler Murray in-game tomorrow. That's right. You're taking home all four items, a dump truck to kick off the Super Bowl preview game. Well, our lucky winner is Lyle424. Lyle424, congratulations. Uh, user, his team just got a whole lot better. Yeah, man. I mean, it's being I mean, able, crazy. I'm first off being able to, you know, be qualified for these dump trucks. You know, I'm happy for Lyle. You know, I would never be a hater. I'm just wondering how, like, you know, my name still ain't in the ring. You know what I'm saying? You I can get a salt in your tone. I'm just nah, saying, never, Lyle never tap that. in. Lyle got to tap in. <laughs> yeah, Lyle got to do something. He got to share that account, man. What's up? Let's take a look at our tail of the tape for today's Super Bowl preview game battle between T.D. Barrett and Noah, and we're going to take a look at the Chiefs and the Eagles. Look at these team ratings. Very even, TD, at 92-91. 
Obviously, the Chiefs with that higher rated Madden player, Travis Kelsey, part of the 99 club, and no doubt he's the best tight end in the game. No doubt about it, the best tight end for sure. You know, only fitting the two number one seeds in the Super Bowl, of course, we're going to see it out here. We'd like to see Jason Kelsey there, maybe, though, the Kelsey brothers. But yeah, Lane Johnson, absolute monster. That Eagles offensive line is so good, and Travis Kelsey, an absolute weapon with that tight end apprentice ability for the Chiefs in regs. Let's kick this thing game off. Let's see who's going to take home the Super Bowl preview game. Can TD Barrett get a little revenge against Noah for their club ba battle back in Madden 21? The kick is away. It will be TD Barrett and the Chiefs with the ball first. Jarek McKinnon out of the end zone. He'll take this up near the 24-yard line. They'll call it the 23. And that is where they will start as we take a look at some footage back from their Madden 21 Club Championship game. Boogs, this was a really exciting game because Noah, one of the young stars, a belt winner going up against a YouTuber turned comp player. TD Barrett looked good in this game. Yeah, he put a, he put up a great fight in this matchup. Like as you can see right here, it's, four, it's late in the fourth quarter, and Noah is just putting the game away right here. He was using that that human joystick in this game. It was just kind of, really just kind of going crazy. Only 24-17 final certainly made everybody proud with his ability and show the skill that TD Barrett uh, has at the game as we take did. Yeah, he, he did try to take your swag. He did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. But don't worry, he Nick. Did. He didn't pull it off. Only you did, player. I'm not gonna lie. The confidence is it's shook a little bit. Right no, now, you, that, no, 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 no. Confidence no. got to be at a whole time. Honey. Okay. All right, we're good then. Let's take a look at his bio. If you don't know who TD Barrett is, make sure you go check him out. 1.55 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. The Madden NFL 21 Pats Club runner-up, member of Top Dog Madden, 26 years old, Canadian Madden player TD, one of the unique uh, unique players out there. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, great personality, huge on YouTube as you can see there. 1.55 million has a die-hard fan base that roots for him, and he's a good offensive player. He can really sling the rock when talking about passing the football. So obviously, we know Noah's one of the best defensive players in the world. You're going to be able to have to put up some points if you want to uh, slow him down. On the flip side, you know Noah's excited to be rocking the Eagles in regs, an opportunity to lead his Eagles, possibly do some good mojo with a win today, hopefully willing them to a Super Bowl victory on Sunday in Glendale. Man, if you don't know who Noah is at this point, uh, this is one of the bright young stars in the Madden community, a two-time belt winner, the sixth highest earning player in MCS history. And he's just 20 years old, West Virginia esports athlete. Yeah, and the thing about Noah is he's so talented in every game mode on Madden. He can compete in mud. We've seen him in, in the former draft champions. We know in regs, he is one of the best, if not the best, regs player in the world. So, you know, he's excited to use those Eagles as well. Just accolades, 300,000 already in earnings. The kid is the real deal. Cliff, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little excited for this. We've been so much in the MCS into the Mutt world, we get a little regs action here. We, we probably know the majority of these rosters at this point don't have to guess who they have out there, wide receiver. Yeah, and the thing about this, I don't think people realize how competitive TD Barrett is. He is a fierce comp competitor. I got to know him a little bit. He loves to compete and he loves to win. Like, he mm -hmm. takes this serious. And then you got Noah on the flip side. We know how competitive he is. And you never want to lose to a YouTuber. You want to distance yourself. So this going to be, I expect this to be a high-intensity game. These guys are going to take it serious. And here's how you know it's serious, user. Exhibition game, you know, putting on a good show out here, having some fun before mm -hmm. the $250,000 Ultimate Madden Bowl. Mm -hmm. They're still getting their audible set. They're not just going out the freestyling. Oh, TD is sweating. I'm going to tell you that right now. He go, he'll try hard for sure. Matter of fact, I think in, oh. in my head league one yeah. time, yeah. TD Barrett put hands on users. For Actually, real? I remember that. Now, I remember that. Thank you for bringing that up. He put hands on users. It was bad. You know what I'm talking about, too. Oh, okay. That's why he's so fact, first hand. A lot of people put hands on you that league. I'm gonna be honest. You know it's so sad, but it is true. And, and and for that performance that he put on, I will forever root against him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The sad part is he screenshotted it. You know what I'm saying? He did. So anytime he I talk crazy on he Twitter, tweeted it he always posted. I'm like, yo, are you really that petty? You got 1.5 million followers, and you you really that petty taking screenshots? Come on, man. And I like what TD's doing. I mean, yeah, what TD's doing here, he's coming out, blowing up in the ball against Dollar, as we see users sitting here just hating. Fletcher Cox, baby. <laughs> Fletcher Cox, absolute yeah, beast. I, I can hear you now. There we go. Oh, do you remember how our first game, that what I did in the first drive a lot one? Oh. Uh, you lurked me. You're running the ball every play on me. You lurked me bad. I like I like what TD's doing well, here. He's trying to get him on his good side. Really? 
Easy. I'll test Ooh. the user. I don't, I don't, I don't plan on it. <laughs> Third and five. TD over. Oh, Ooh, there's nice. and there's one of the bright young stars. Oh, go Pacheco! Come on! Oh, oh, look at Isaiah Andy, Pacheco go. Still rumbling. Did you watch? If you watch the game, that was that's more realistic than you think. Yeah, that that, that is. Yeah, true. every that single time true. he touched the ball in that last guy, I was like, yeah, no, he's scoring. Yeah, he's a beast. He's actually right probably there. one of my favorite. You're an Eagles fan. This must be. What, what's your? Uh, what are you thinking, man? You feeling good? Dude, I, I mean, if, if that's how our defense is gonna is planning on tackling him, then no, I'm not feeling good. No, I feel like uh, you're because they have the greatest you, quarterback you of all time, and then if they also have Pacheco, who's looking like he's like prime Marshawn Lynch, then I don't know how we're gonna stop this offense. Let me be honest. This is too but, friendly uh, for me right now. Yeah, this is way too friendly for me right now. I need this. I don't even like the energy. Yeah, I don't. I don't like this. No, you know what I'm saying. TD trying to be friendly because he no no will put hands and feet on him. You know what I'm saying? Then it's, Noah falling for the bait. Yeah, it's smart he falling for the bait. TD, crazy. but I don't like the fact that Noah's falling for the bait. That's really, really the problem. From a two-time champion, I expect more. Yeah, one word him on his questions and answer. Just one word him. Yeah, he stop right. talking fast. I ain't got nothing to say to you, man. <laughs> and of course, Isaiah Pacheco, rookie out of Rutgers, is taking over the Chiefs' backfield. And I mean, we could be looking at a back that, that storms the league over the next couple of years. Yeah, man, this kid is a real stud, Pacheco. You also got Jarek McKinnon. I mean, he's been underrated all year, too. Can catch the ball in the backfield. Yeah, Pacheco looks like he's really come on in the playoffs, too, in the postseason. And I like what TD Barrett's doing. He's slowing the game down. He's playing a little bit of Noah's style right here, running the ball. We've seen some eye form, making, you know, taking his time, making his adjustments. And he's looking pretty good on this opening drive. Pressure at the middle, picked up. And this is what happens in regs. This is where regs differs from Mutt Clef that got the scrambling ability of both these quarterbacks is going to be on display. Yeah, and the reason is, is those regs, these linemen, they're not as fast as the Mutt D linemen. You know, you don't have theme teams or nothing like that to make your pass rush faster. So you're going to see the difference of speed between when the quarterback gets outside the pocket in this game mode. Yeah, and not many abilities either, like we see in Mud. You know, most teams have a most most of like five or six abilities oh, out there. Pacheco, come on, Pacheco! Pretty much everyone has an ability go. at this point. Yeah, yeah I agree. Like that's that's the beautiful thing that, about Regs is that plan. you have to pick your poison. Uh, you have to you have to pick how you want to win as well as how you're going to pretty much lose. Like, like you have to pick really both sides of the ball, and that's the beautiful thing about Regs. I'm like, I'm like, what is Noah doing? I I like the way you run the ball. You got your own like unique style that I feel like is like underrated. I try and uh, I try and replicate it, but not nearly as well as you. Sound like a fanboy over here. What's going on, man? No, it's working. Have you ever, have you ever been this nice to anybody in the game, Madden? No, man. Hmm. I popped the user earlier. We were going back and forth. Wow, this is crazy, Ty. The defect. You'll get up here and just tell a bullshit lie. That's just a straight lie. <laughs> just, I, I witnessed it. Thank you. That's thank just you a man. lie. Just come up here and tell a bullfaced lie. It's just out of control. I popped, I popped in here to see they were playing a game. It was 14 nothing, and Ty goes, got him right where I want him. <laughs> I'm like, you lose it. Hey, did I fight back, though? I did. No, you did. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Is, yeah, is it bad that I actually believe that he popped him, though? It was two former Madden players showing at which difference of former they are. Got it. It wasn't pretty. We'd like to apologize to Arizona Cardinals for their <laughs> former club champion. Look, did he just drop 10 into coverage? He did. That's a one-man rush. And the blocking is spectacular. He's just mauling him on the right side. He's going to have all day here. You want to take a nap or? Noah, Noah's going to have to send a zone, send a spy, click that right what stick in somehow. What world is that? Oh, oh what He took a sack. Oh, wow. He took a sack. Oh, it was, it was stupid, a Brett. Okay. I don't, I'm curious to see the college. I didn't see nothing open there, though. There's 10 people in coverage, of course. Mm, that's a bad pocket right there by TD. You got to step up, though. If you step up, his running back will pick him up. Have you ever taken a sack from a one-man rush? No. No, it's, I, I feel like that should be impossible. I mean, he only had 14 and a half seconds in the pocket. Yeah, at some point, you got to take off. Third and 16 from the 17-yard line. Almost used this entire quarter. Darius Tony, Nicole Hartman, and Marquez Valdez skin. Tackles. Ooh, big tackle. You know, I was like, ugh. I, I was kind of banking on trying to trying to break the tackle battle there. Dang it. Unless you have crazy stick there, I, I think you hold on to the ball. Try to see if something can get to the back of the end zone and just, and just take the sack. You know, it's, 
there's really no yeah, point no, in always, quick going uh, there unless you got crazy about stick. You, dude. So like, whenever anyone like asks me about my job, I'm always like, did you know that there's like people going to college for uh, for like esports now? And I'm always like, this guy know, and a lot of them. I know there's a lot of competitive man players. But I was like, when you when you went to West Virginia, I was like, that is one of the coolest things. Like. A lot of people who looked at that and probably like it's crazy. Were I mean, inspired by that. TD so. acting like no one got 1.5 million followers. What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, in terms what of if you, were to, if you were to rank the people that are rooting for Noah to win this game, TD might be ahead of Noah right now. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Noah ain't respond though. I like how he ain't even say nothing. He ain't even acknowledge it. You can yeah. see he kind of starting to lock in and get focused. He's trying to kill him with kindness, and he's like, "You're not gonna get me." You know what type of games you playing here, player? I tell you what, that's the quickest first quarter I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Both of these dudes, they they are pretty much runners. No one come out in five wide though. It looks like. See if he audibles out of it. It's a pretty slow paced game right there. Maybe maybe he might mix in some some QB draw in this game. He has Jalen Hurts. The line is spread. Maybe. And I believe oh, that okay. Lane Can Johnson with the power bomb minutes. tackle, but Chris Jones showing well, off the hands. Animation. Well, I, I actually I hate those animations unless I am the one getting that animation. Is that true for every animation in Madden? Can't it? get here, place. I love it nothing. until it's against me. Yes. Oh. I mean, this guy right here, this, this guy Noah, he's gonna, he doesn't want to play around in this game. Riggs is a very hard mode to get a stop, and. He, at some point, I expect to see Noah starting to get a little bit more sweat. Holmes slings it right side. There's the aforementioned Jarek McKinnon. Mm -hmm. Healthy for most of the year. That certainly helped him out. And I like the roll combo there from TD. And he did a little fullback wing package there. So he got McKinnon at the tight end spot there off the line right there. A little flat uh, corner combo. The defense dropped back on the corner. Checks it down to the flat. You think uh, Dez and Henry gonna be as friendly in this game as these guys? Oh, not at all. Not at all. You think, you think we'll see Henry being like, Dez, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of you. I love how you run your offense. Here we gotta hold the now, door. This, this, oh. this energy right here is crazy from TD. Hmm. But you know, Clef, you know, we talk about it all the time, you know. People know who to try, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He know who to try, you know what I'm saying? Because if I was holding that stick, I promise you TD would be going crazy. I'll say this. I think this don't last long. You know, as this game tightens up and we get down to the third, fourth quarter, the money time, there's no way the kind is going to be on display like this. You got a tight end. That's wow. a X open. A you can find Kadarius Tony over the middle. That's a Tony touchdown knows, baby, for TD Barrett and the Kansas oh, City Chiefs. Okay. Good play, good play. Thanks, man. I'm trying to try a little bit of motion. A little bit of an upset going here. He had everything wide open there, yeah. Great play. Everything was wide open. Not the star I'm looking for. I'm the star I'm looking for, dude. I'm quietly over here like, what in the Way too friendly. Yeah, this is too friendly. I'm going to tell you what. Chris Jones, dude. I played TD Barry early this year in Madden, and I lost to him. And everybody saw that. And then you get the question that says, TD Barry better than you. That's the last thing no one wants to get that question. Chris Jones interception, D line pick, and then let's all click on there from TD Bear, TD to TD. Hey, Tyler Davis, I'll click on there to get Kadarius Tony in front of us. Yeah, yeah, nice click on right there. Okay. Do it in front of the yeah, defender, clicks on, rock. makes the yeah, user no, catch. So. Oh, we got to see Noah it. respond here. We, I don't know what this five wide we got going on here. He's running a little wide receiver screen, but this ain't the Noah that I know, okay. what I'm okay. seeing right now. Okay. I need to see him run the rock. He's representing the Eagles. He knows that, right? I don't know. Philly fans out there are going to be like, what is what is this man doing? This is a two-time belt winner. Oh, God. Uh, okay, he's fine. And Devontae Smith oh, right down the go. middle of the field. Oh, come oh. on. Devontae all the way down to the 31. What a route. Post route. Cooks the man coverage. Devontae Smith, he might do that in the Super Bowl, too. I wasn't prepped to fight there. Uh, I think we might need to get somebody from TGL on the line. You know what I'm saying? Not a good look. No, playing like he don't know. He representing the number four player in the world. Playing against a YouTuber. Down 10. We need him to step it up. T 
10 nothing right now here in our Super Bowl preview game. Join us all night. Oh, yeah, that no, might be no. that's, that's that Good almost job. Pick. Good defense. Joining us all night, giving us some yeah, insights on the game, one, some numbers. Is our very own Cynthia Fraylin. Cynthia, what do you think of this so far? Is this going to match up to what we see on Sunday? Well, a couple of things do because Chris Jones is absolutely a game wrecker. He had the most pressures this entire regular season from the interior position. So absolutely that matches up. And the Isaiah Pacheco deeper situation. The linebackers are the area I would attack the Eagles defense. So maybe there are some things that are some good parallels here. But if I were no, maybe run the ball a little bit more because the Chiefs are susceptible to downfield passes, but also against a run. Did you ever think we'd reach a moment where somebody was telling Noah to run the ball? <laughs> I know, right? This man is on the ball when it doesn't pop run the ball. He's on. throwing up in the corner of the end zone. It's going to be fourth and three. On. He's going for it. Big shout out to Cynthia oh, for okay. the insight. You'll be hearing from her all night oh, long. She does her cut downs after Eddie. Those cut downs look so good, by the way. She does such a great job with those. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to see it, but I imagine. Um, I haven't seen him. I have. He's, okay, thank you. He, he's not. He's not a real one. You ain't either. seen it either. I know I have. And she did an amazing job. What do you where, where you see that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Look at all the cap is crazy. And check out those uh, cut downs on TBS February 13th at midnight. Oh, right crazy. down the middle of the field. Oh, AJ Brown to the end zone. That man's a beast. AJ Brown still can't believe the Titans gave that guy up. By the way. I mean, I thought, I thought you were one of the best receivers in football. Wide open right there, post row, wide out, halfback swing. One of the best plays in that Saints playbook. Noah goes to it on a crucial fourth down, and he's right back in it. Ten seven, two twenty three to go in the first half. McKinnon will kneel this one in the end zone. Take it one more time. Fourth and three, books. He finds. A.J. Brown, how many times have you seen A.J. Brown come up with a big touchdown catch? Oh, yeah. A.J. Brown is an absolute beast on the field. You're able to really just utilize him. I mean, the Eagles really just has a great wide receiver core in Madden as well as in real life. And you can really just take advantage of the defense. On first down, Mahomes. Your defense. He rolled out right. There was not a soul. Right the pass? Oh, oh man. Okay. Tom Brady, I mean, we're just <laughs> Ref ball gets oh, into this game. And how quickly TD accepted that. Shame. Oh, yeah. I, mean, uh, I know Jalen Hurts played to win the game. Would you be fine that? Would they have been this friendly? I thought we might see a friendly I deep card. Yeah, Noah said, I Noah's down like three points. He's going to accept it. He's going to, or TD's going to accept it because he does not want to give up that lead. Oh, man. Zayn Pacheco. They got this car souped up. This is where clock management comes in. How much time do I want to give Noah? That's the million dollar question. Chat, let us know how much time should he give Noah? I believe the answer should be zero. Yeah, it should be zero. He shouldn't even be asking. He shouldn't even be thinking about how much time. It's how little time. He shouldn't give him any time right here. Really, you want to get seven with probably like 30 seconds. Enough time for him to make a mistake and you get the ball back. A little gun trio. I haven't heard from Travis Kelsey yet today. That's a rarity. Usually by this point he has six or seven catches. That's a Noah route combo a right there. Oh my. And he clicks on with Slay and doesn't get it. Ooh. Then Scantling might have had an opportunity to get out there. That acrobat. Yeah, you nailed it, Boogs. That's what Noah loves. The I was like 50-50 about throwing that. That's his that favorite route combination right there. And you've seen acrobat. We don't Dude. see that ability a lot at all. Defense. We haven't seen it in Madden Bowl a lot. A lot. Or any, but right, right here in Reds, you see Darius Slay with Acrobat almost made a crazy play. I see a Pacheco out on the flat, maybe a yard. Well, Noah might call a timeout there. Remember, it's different in regs. You got a 40 second play clock, unlike uh, Mutt, we get a 30 second play clock. <laughs> Down under a minute. Cannot hike this ball before the one second mark. Uh, how about the 10 second mark? There was a one in it. And he will take a sack and we will see a timeout. And now Noah, 41 seconds, two timeouts, Boogs. That's an eternity. That's, that's a whole lot of time right there for Noah to be able to really just get downfield, especially to get three. You can pretty much book the three. It's whether or not he can go down here and get seven. And, and that was the two things that you could not have happen there. First of all, you get sacked out of field goal range. 
and you're punting as well. You don't get three, and then you give him the ball back with 35 seconds. Like Boog said, you got to snap that ball with one second left on the play clock. Unfortunately, with that ball going through the end zone, it's going to be a net 26-yard punt. And Noah, the field goal can tie this game up. Empty backfield, Jalen Hurts. Yes, stepping sir. up and sitting down. How about the pressure? Pocket eventually collapsing around Hurts. Yeah, not a lot of sense of urgency. I thought he might have called timeout. You know, he still got those two timeouts with about 25 seconds. Gonna take Got a ag. chance. No sense. Look, the CTD off. stick. Gonna get out. He oh, does sit down, but there's zeros on the clock, and we will go to halftime. 10-7, the Take, score. Look at, but look at the celebration. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, just. Hey, can you turn up just his done. audio a little bit? I think really, really quiet. All right, thank you. As we will have the second half kickoff from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. And I'm just disappointed that I live there, Ty. I don't have tickets yet. <laughs> I know. You Hashtag gotta, send Nick to You've got to be there. We, send need, Nick Nick, we need Nick in the Super Bowl, especially if you bring that type of drip and swag. Mm -hmm. My goodness. As the kick is away, it will be Noah with the ball to kick off the second half. We're going to cut into this three-point deficit. Halftime from our Super Bowl preview show. TD Barrett, a slim lead. Noah looking to represent the Eagles and get them a win. Send them to victory on Sunday. Don't go anywhere. We will preview our upcoming $250,000 Madam Bull final and second half of this game on the backside of this break. Tune in this Saturday, February 11th, for the third annual Madden NFL 23 HBCU Tournament. The top Madden HBCU players will compete for $70,000 in prizes. That's this Saturday, February 11th, on the NFL YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. Let the Pro Bowl games begin in Madden NFL Mobile. Sharpen your QB skills in the brand new Precision Passing Drill, now available in the Super Bowl event. Scan the QR code to play now. This is six-time Pro Bowler Ocho Cinco, and you're watching the Ultimate Madden Bowl. There's a new kid in town. Can the youngest champ in MCS history do it again? Watch to see if 17-year-old Phenom Dez takes home the ultimate prize. Well, as you can see, we have a battle tonight. 250 thousand dollars on the line as the youngest belt winner in history Dez looks to take on the five-time champ Henry as he looks to add to his legacy here and that you can see that beautiful ultimate Madden Bolt belt is on the line a chance to add that to the collection along with a whole lot of money as these two will battle it out later tonight here from Redwood City California Hello and welcome to the Ultimate Madden Bowl Final Preview. 
Nick Mazesco, one great user, Tyler Davis, Boogs, and Clef the God. Let's talk a little bit about this game and what we have going on because this is going to be a matchup of two. I, young stars doesn't feel like the right words. These are the two leaders of the next generation of Madden. Man, I, this sport, guys, is in a good place for a long time with these two leading the charge. I mean, offense, defense, they can do it all. They're not afraid of the moment. It's the two leaders of this new generation. They're going to collide for $250,000. And you talk to them, they're both so confident, right? We saw Henry back in the room. He looked like he was just so dialed in. He didn't say, he didn't say one word to us. So both these guys want it so bad. It's gonna be, this game's going to be crazy. Yeah, it should be a, a fantastic game user. And for both of these guys, legacy is on the line. If Des wins this game, don't forget, he's going to do something that not even Henry de has done, which is winning two belts in his first three tournaments. I mean, Dez, what he's putting together, you know, I talked to Henry earlier. I said, man, you know, the, the work that Dez is putting together is almost comparable to what you're putting together, and it's amazing that at this age what Henry's already done. But Dez is right behind him, and when you look at this situation, you kind of wonder who's going to separate from each other. We've seen this same situation last year when it was Noah versus Henry, and it was like well, whoever wins this is going to actually be the face and dominate. And then Henry was able to do that. And we didn't think, we thought it was only Noah right there with him with two belts. And now you look, you fast forward it, you have Dez coming up being a young phenom. He's right there knocking at the door saying, hey, Henry, you got another nemesis waiting right here for you. Let's take a look at our bracket, show you how we got here. This was a long tournament, the, the Ultimate Madden Bowl, the largest tournament of the year. And 14 players started out in this one, and we're down to our final two. A lot of upsets, a lot of interesting games. I mean, Boogs, that Kiv D. Croft game had all the emotion we were hoping for. This tournament has been fantastic. The tournament's been amazing overall. We've had a lot of great games. We got a chance to see the emotion from the Kiv D. Croft rivalry, and which is really just, it stamped it, that this is the best rivalry that we have in our sport right now. And then just being able to see Dez and his run, his ability to fight through the, the matchup against Kiv, where it seemed like he was really just dead in the water and he somehow pulled it out. It, a lot of great games and just a lot of great action. Clef, uh, it's hard to have these conversations about Henry because we've talked about him so much. He's been here for so what feels like so long, but only 19 years old. What's the ceiling for this kid? Are we talking at somebody that could, we could be looking at in a couple years at eight, nine, ten belts? Honestly, the ceiling, he's already pushed past that. He already broke the ceiling. Like, what he's doing is so unprecedented. That's why I don't even think it's fair to say, oh, he got a nemesis coming up or somebody's going to beat him. That's unfair to him because what he's done, we've never, ever seen before. And he can easily, he's 19 years old with, with the discipline and the work he put in. To realistically say he can have eight, nine, ten belts, it sounds crazy, but it's not crazy. User, you talk to Henry. Where's his confidence level right now? <laughs> Through the roof. <laughs> God level, let me tell you that. The man, like, he, he trusts his preparation. He trusts his lab work so much. He's been here and done this so many times. And think about this, seven final appearances. Seven final appearances. I mean, this is unprecedented. And, and where he's at right now, he's not even worried. He's like, hey, man, I'm just going to trust my lab work, play the game, and have fun. He's like, I really don't be stressing this. I'm he really picks it up like he's playing his uncle or something. Well, in case you missed the virtual Pro Bowl, your boy Pizza was about to give our guy Henry some love, but Marshawn Lynch wasn't letting him have it. Let's take a listen. So, yo, wait, I got to ask you, as the well-known Madden creator here, who is the top Madden player? Who's the player to beat in this competition? It's all about King Henry. I Hello, brother. What's that? He's talking King about Henry. the player. How you ain't even throw my name in that thing? You talk about a whole nother other person when I'm standing right here. You're, right? you're a close second. Bro, you you're a close, close second. second. <laughs> we're, we're, we are not, Blood, we're tripping. not talking about Derrick Henry. We were talking about the Madden player. I'm talking about me as okay, the Madden player. That's true. You're talking about some other George, who you say? George. King Henry. King Henry. He goes by George. That's what I mean. Oh, George. Oh, George. 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 Kevin. A million to be talking dollars about is on the line. You call yourself the boy Pisa, and I'm the boy boy. As we take a look at some highlights from that semifinal matchup against Fancy, folks, I can't, I cannot believe that Marshawn Lynch called Henry George. <laughs> it was. It was I can't, I can't believe that. It was, it was crazy. It was funny. Um, but it, it was just really such an authentic reaction, and, and I can see it, it just reminds you of those guys that you grew up with, and you're just like, yo, it, that's the kind of reaction mm -hmm. that I'm accustomed to.
Yeah, that's how Marshawn is. I mean, when I met him in Texas and Caicos, man, stayed up all night playing Madden in the hotel. Dude is really a Madden head, a gamer head. So people, some people think he didn't know exactly what he was talking about. I believe he did because Marshawn is definitely a gamer. He knows who it is, but he feel, feel disrespected. Even though his game ain't there, he always feel he should be in the conversation. So you're taking beast mode over Henry? No way. Okay, just wanted that. Not a chance. Just wanted to make sure. Well, actually, uh, you guys got to sit down with Henry uh, a little bit earlier this week as we kicked off the Madden Bowl festivities here from Redwood City and talked to the champ about what he's looking at going into this final. Wear your crown, King Henry! Five-time MCS champion. Once again, back in a final. I don't know if you've been hearing the chatter. Cause you know I'm for the streets. I wanna make sure you hear what the streets are saying. Some of it good, some of it bad. Hit play right there. Let me get your reaction on that. No one thought someone would win two belts in the same year. He's done that back to back years. Five hundred thousand dollars in the span of twelve, like three hundred sixty five days. Like nothing is gonna take away from what he's done this past year and the legacy that he's cemented in this game. Uh, I, I do think a lot of it's it's just different environment. Different. It's definitely different than online. You know, it's like. You know, Henry, you know, he's been a homebody his whole life. You know, he ain't really, you know, been outside like that. You feel me? Well, Henry in a good situation where he already did all this before that. So he's not going to go into these tournaments. He don't go into these tournaments with no pressure. Like, there's no pressure on him at all. It's going to affect new people who ain't never been there before. I got to say it. Henry a little better online than he was in person. Like, like it, it just it just is what it is, you know. You got, you got to see if he's really built in person, you know, because it's, it's a little different when, you know, sitting next to your opponent. Now, when you see these, you know, your peers and you hear these comments, COVID era, COVID belt, bubble champion, what do you think? I don't know what someone is talking about for real. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had better places than everybody that said it matters when it was an in-person tournament. I mean, I made my finals my first one. That was in person. I'm going to be honest. I never thought the in-person stuff mattered. Like, like nobody going to jump across the screen and fight me. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to be scared of or nothing. So. People feel like the energy, yes, nobody's reaching across, putting hands on you, but people feel like you can feel that energy. If you was playing somebody like Clef the God or Noah, where you feel that, you know, you know they're capping at you and they're bringing that intensity to you. How do you feel about being back on this stage? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it, man. You know, I grew up, I grew up competing against like my brothers and my father and stuff. So, you know, I've never been the one to like talk first for real. You know, that's never been me. But you know, if somebody say something, I'm gonna for sure respond back. You know, that's how I always been. You know, that's how it was in that joke game. You know, when I played joke in person. And here goes up the middle. He's into the end zone. Say something. Say something. You've kind of been like a, a pioneer for for the for the young. For the young players, the young crop of players in the MCS now, man, you've, you've been one of those guys that now every time a new young guy pops up, they're comparing them to Henry because you came in and you really, you really came in and, and lived up to the hype. How do you feel about the current crop of players that's coming into the game? Uh, I definitely think I've had like a huge inspiration. You know, I mentioned before about like the little group chats in Madden. You know, all the Madden players coming together and you know talking to each other. You know, a lot of them, a lot of them like look up to me, you know, in a sense, you know, they all try to like say, you know, uh, I'm trying to have the year that Henry had and things like that. So, you know, I definitely hate to see, you know, it's funny because I'm still only 19. Yep. So when I see it, That's crazy. it's That's funny, crazy. but I'm kind of like a vet in the game now. So, you know, seeing people like Dez, you know, I really like Dez a lot, you know, because he kind of reminds me the most out of anybody. What keeps you motivated? What keeps me motivated? I mean, it's always gonna be the check. The cheddar. <laughs> the check always gonna get it done, you know. That, you know, when that check hit, that definitely, you know, it hit, it's gonna hit the same every single time, you know what I'm saying? So it's always gonna be the check. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned all the time, you know, family is like my biggest thing. You know, what Madden has done for me, you know, I've been able to support my family a lot, you know. You know, they can call on me for anything. I'm always gonna be there, you know. Yes, man. So uh, having the chance to say that is like the biggest thing. You know? that's, that's what really keeps me going for real. What you've been able to accomplish is no no man player really thought was possible. You know what I'm like you've, you've been able to win multiple belts in back-to-back -back years and possibly could win three in one year. And what you're doing is so impressive. I remember you know, back in my, my time when I was good before I was washed, you know, I, Long time ago. I used to talk about winning four in, a, four in a year and people thought I was crazy. I would talk about winning three in a year. And to see you actually be able to do it, it's, it's amazing. So like, have you thought about that part of it, of your accomplishments and how you've been able to really kind of do the unthinkable? 
Oh yeah, I think about it all the time. That's why that's why I don't really get why people still question me. I mean, I guess you gotta question, you know, to keep it interesting. But I, I feel like I, I definitely deserve the thing where like there's like nothing at all that can be said. Uh, you know, I keep doing everything possible. You know, sadly I couldn't I couldn't keep that live event straight going. You know, I couldn't get that done. But uh, I ended up winning the belt the next tournament, so I, I guess that makes up for it. Uh, but yeah, I, I think about it all the time. Man. Just trying to further myself and everybody else. Yeah. Who out there wants to win a trip to the Super Bowl? This is your last chance to head on over to MaddenBoldGiveaway.com for a chance to win a trip for two to Super Bowl 57. Tickets, flights, and accommodations all paid for. Make sure you visit the website tonight. Go click on the uh, the link to get your entries and keep your eye out for that secret code for additional entries. This is your last chance tonight to enter for that Super Bowl preview. Let's talk Twitch drops. We talked about how big the Twitch drops were here on Twitch. These are massive. Watch the entire Madden Bowl final tonight. You'll earn two standard Twitch packs, two MCS tokens towards that Derwin James item, one 86-plus overall playoff player, and one 94-plus overall bound player. Plus, you'll see the reveal of the MCS champion items designed by the fi finalists. And you know, this is on Twitch, so make sure if you want all of these items, you're watching here on Twitch, you can see the drop schedule down below. But if you are watching over on YouTube, and I'd recommend having both open and trying to earn drops on both sides, watch for five minutes, you'll earn a standard drop pack. Watch for 20 minutes, you'll earn a standard drop pack. Uh, and you can earn, after 20 minutes, you can earn that pack that contains the Ultimate Madden Bowl Stadium. This is the only place to earn that Ultimate Madden Bowl Stadium that's over on YouTube. So two different drops. I'd be trying to have both open. I'm not going to lie, Ty. Oh, yeah. Have them both open. Give yourself a chance to win. I would do it. Just do it. YouTube and Twitch.tv slash EAMadNFL. Let's get it. Check my watch right now. I'm not wearing a watch, but let me check Ty's watch. Yeah, it is dump truck time. It's another giveaway time. We're going to do another dump truck giveaway. This time, all three AKA items and that 99 tribute Tom Brady, who you might see on some rosters when you hop into Madden. That Tom Brady is tough. Our winner, Top Notch 2011. Congratulations, you're taking home this dump truck with all four of those items. All right, let's talk Dez a little bit, user, because Dez, youngest belt winner in history, he's doing stuff that even Henry didn't do, making finals appearance in his first events. Uh, this is somebody who somehow is getting overlooked a little bit because of the greatness of Henry. And, and that's crazy to say because Dez, what he's putting together is historical too. And now you look at the situation, yes, he has to play Henry. And he just came up at the right time where Henry is dominating, but Dez has proved that he can be one of those guys too. This situation, I expect it to kind of be like the same thing with Noah, that we're gonna see Dez from here on out, and it's gonna be a clash at the top between these three, three young guys who's gonna be the best in the face of this sport. Clef, you want to talk about motivation. Henry, of course, everybody's been talking about that quest for another belt. He's looking to become it's his Jordan moment, trying to get six belts. But nobody's talking about Dez. Can that provide him some motivation today in that he's getting overlooked massively? I don't even think it's so much about motivation. I don't think it takes pressure off of him. He goes into this game with nothing to lose. And anytime you go into these games with nothing to lose, it gives you an advantage. It allows you to be way more loose. But the thing is, Henry really doesn't have pressure either. This is a rare moment where both of the players in the finals really don't have pressure on them. But Dez is in a great position, underdog with a belt, and playing against the, the hottest player in the world right now. This game bugs. This was a wild game. Kiv and Dez, uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a game like that. That game was amazing, for, really from start to finish because it started off with Kiv just being so hot. You had a lot of crazy moments and crazy situations with that game because you had Kiv with, with the wrong button press you know, or the pass where he just kind of threw the pass that should have been a pick or the, the play where Dez kind of got lucky. And the thing that really just impressed me was how Dez was able to just keep fighting through. A lot of people don't respect that. You know, some people may say, oh, Dez got lucky with that one pass that should have been a pick. The most impressive part is the fact that Dez was able to just, just keep fighting, keep pushing, put one foot in front of the other, and just keep fighting, and then able to pull the game out. It was a wild game. You saw at the end there, his parents, Dez's parents here in the studio, lost their absolute minds, and with good reason. Their son just earned a lot of money. Our very own Cynthia Freeland caught up with Dez's parents about what they're feeling before tonight's massive game. 
I'm here with Dez's parents, Carrie and Chrissy. This is very exciting. This weekend has been amazing. Tell us a little bit about what it has been like. Experience the ultimate Madden Bowl with your son. Well, it's just been such a whirlwind really to how far he's come especially in such a short time and really the best thing uh, is really location because we're actually from this area so we have a huge support base with our friends and family and just to be able for them to enjoy that with us has been amazing. Chrissy what's it been like having your son have this astronomical rise just absolutely coming out of the ward work at such a young age? Well honestly um, I'm not surprised at all I, you know, from a little boy, he was really, really in love with football. He was great at, like, statistics. He knew the players. He could talk like a 35-year-old when he was five. So I just, I, I've always believed in him. This doesn't surprise me at all. But I am here in full support, and I love him to pieces. So... I love that. Okay, one last question. I know he's a monstrous Cowboys fan. You said you're from here. This is 49ers country. What on earth is he doing being a Cowboys fan? Absolutely. I get that question all the time, and I grew up in the Joe Montana era, so uh, I I don't know. I just resonated with uh, the whole Cowboys and Indians uh, when growing up as a kid and saw that Cowboy star and just attached to that. I love that. I'm, I'm supposed to be throwing it back to Nick, but I'm told the swaggiest man alive is actually in the studio hosting instead. So, Mr. Swagger, please. How'd I do? Is, that, is the wave? The wave wasn't the move, was it? No. That one's on me. I've been I mean, come on. I'm so, I'm, I'm, I, I know apologize. you were suggested. I apologize. Man. We've been talking about the me. posture and everything. Yeah. And, and she called you the swaggiest yeah. man in life, and you came back with the wave? I'm disappointed in myself. You think you at the Macy's Parade just, or something? I disappointed myself. But I tell you, it's better my if you don't have nothing Sorry, cool to say. That one's on me. That what I tell you, if you don't have nothing cool to say or do, just don't do nothing at all. That's cool enough. I apologize. But talking about uh, Dez's parents, we had an opportunity to, to hang out with Dez's parents uh, after his qualification for the final. Talk about two people that have bought in 100% to what Dez is doing. Yeah, they believe in him, and his parents have been great support. And, and it's funny because we were sitting at the table one night, and they called him by his first name, Peyton. I was like, who is Peyton? Who is Peyton? It was like Dez. I'm like, listen, I always call gamers, you know, by the gamer name. And that just shows how much they've been really supporting him. His mom said, you know, a lot of people didn't believe in him. And a lot of times parents get shamed for supporting a type of a sport like this. And she's like, but he loves it. And his dad used to coach him in football. And he said, you know, Peyton came to me and said, hey, man, I'm kind of done with football. I'm pretty good at Madden. And now you look at it where he's taken off and the type of money he's already made and the opportunities from even getting scholarships in colleges is like, it's a blessing just to see where the sport is going. And somebody like Dez, he's taking full advantages, full advantage of all the opportunity. Yeah, and Ty, for Dez, coming off of a, a game he didn't play great against Kiv, threw a lot of interceptions, but he was able to bounce back from them. That's going to give him some, at least a little bit of adversity that he's had to fight through and, and should give him some confidence going into this game. Yeah, well, first of all, he's definitely going to play better here tonight than he did against Kiv. You could not survive four interceptions uh, against a guy like Henry. But we talked about that, too. You know, when you can beat a legend like Kiv in your first live event and you face that adversity, you throw four picks, yes. you bounce back, that just shows that he's built for this moment, right? So he's battle-tested now. Going in this matchup against Henry, you got to just credit him. Well, it should be a fantastic game. We can't wait uh, for both of these players to battle out. I have no idea how it's going to go. It's as much of a coin flip as we can get. Speaking of coin flip, we still got a second half of this game coming up as our Super Bowl preview continues on. It's going to be TD Barrett and Noah's second half action. Who's going to come away with a little mojo for their team going into the Super Bowl? We'll be back after this. This is six-time Pro Bowler Ocho Cinco, and you're watching the Ultimate Madden Bowl. The GOAT is about to hit the sticks. Can King Henry be crowned for the sixth time and become the back-to-back -back Ultimate Madden Bowl champion? Talk to Stay tuned to find out. Let the Pro Bowl games begin in Madden NFL Mobile. Sharpen your QB skills in the brand new Precision Passing Drill, now available in the Super Bowl event. Scan the QR code to play now.
Tune in this Saturday, February 11th, for the third annual Madden NFL 23 HBCU Tournament. The top Madden HBCU players will compete for $70,000 in prizes. That's this Saturday, February 11th, on the NFL YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. We are elated to announce the selected recipients of the inaugural EA Madden Scholarship Program. Coach John Madden was a lifelong learner and shared our passion for education and creating opportunities for young people in underrepresented communities. To honor his legacy, we created the EA Madden Scholarship in partnership with the United Negro College Fund, which supports students at historically black colleges and universities. The EA Madden Scholarship Program is a five-year commitment that awards students with an up to $12,000 scholarship for the current academic year and supports their career development with internship opportunities, mentorship, training, and more. Congratulations to this year's recipients. Let's get into second half action as TD Barrett and Noah continue with our Super Bowl preview game. It is TD Barrett with the slight lead uh, user and is certainly the biggest fan out there of Noah. <laughs> That's the wild part. You know, TD <laughs> is just really playing this game, and it looks like somebody, when you ask some questions, who would you want to play with your biggest celebrity you wish to play a game of Madden with? It seems like TD got his wish playing Noah. <laughs> Left side, there's Devontae Smith with a catch. And it looks like the sweat is starting to come out. You see him in that tight formation. He's no longer playing games with TD. He's saying, you know what, I'm going to come out in tight and go get some points. Scramble. This feels like one of them hustle moves right here. You know, you come out the first Ooh, half, keep thing. the game close, mess around a little bit. Yeah. Second half, run away with it. And no, no pulling the classic barbershop move, remember? <laughs> it's a play for the money in the barbershop. First half, you play around. Second half, you're like, all right, let's, let's sit up. Got to keep it close. Got to keep it close. Look at him, he even got the little smirk on his face. You swear he heard you. He knows, he knows it's, <laughs> about to, it's about to get ugly. Three man rush. Yeah, I thought it away. Oh, he's going to hit square on the comeback. Nope, oh, that's nope, 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 there's Lejerry Sneed. Lejerry Sneed goes the other way. And all of a sudden, oh, that, that, drive, oh, that, oh, that drive that looked like Noah was going to walk down the field and score makes a mistake in the red zone. Yeah, and that's that's really how you can mess around and lose this ball game here because TD is up three points. If he goes down here and gets seven points, Noah's going to be in trouble because one, the fact that we're playing regs, you have a 40 second play clock. He can take a lot of time off this clock, and two, it's just really hard to get a stop in regs. And and that right there is the disadvantage of having a quarterback like Jalen Hurts because right there in mutt that's open, that's set feet lead, that ball is going to get there. Not having a throwing ability on him, that ball floated, and you can see it was a pick. Uh, it's not like it's not, Noah. Oh, if, no, if Noah's real, he accepts the penalty. He got to accept. Got to accept. Set the tone. Yeah. I don't care Set what you're talking about. Second half is not Sorry, my, my, my earpiece went out. I didn't hear you. Shoot. Shoot indeed. He didn't accept it. Shame. By the way, Clef, talk about somebody who the Chiefs are hoping to have healthy on Sunday, Legereus Sneed. If they get him back, that defense is way better with him, especially playing out there in the middle. Yeah, they need him out there. He missed a do it all for him. He kind of play the slot, play the outside. Great man to man guy. And you going against this Eagles offense, you need as much versatility as you can because they can run the ball and they can throw the ball out of multiple different looks. Could throw to the left side. There's Nico Hardman. Feet inbounds, picking up six. By the way, do you consider Jalen Hurts, is he Alabama? Do you consider him Oklahoma? He's going to be Bama to me. It's always Bama for me. Yeah. I mean,. I'm sure the, the Oklahoma Sooners out there are saying, no, he's ours. But I think he's Bama. That's a dot that's to a the sideline. Getting sticky with it. All of a sudden, no, he's not talking a whole lot. <laughs> he knows he had an opportunity to take the lead and, and maybe just sort of get control of this game with that pick. And it's like Boogs in the Discord right here. You know what I'm saying? When Boogs, when Boogs losing a game like this, this is how he be. He don't really say much. He started locking in, mm. quiet. This reminds me of you right here. You don't be saying nothing. I mean, look, look, that, that's not the focus of this game right here. I, I see we starting to try to take shots, slick ones at that. 
Crazy thing too is the way that TD Barrett's playing, this is how Noah usually plays. Yeah. Like this is, he's resembling Noah's style. You see trips, you see him slowing the game down, he's running the ball. I'd say the, the crazy thing is that user didn't chime in on that shot to books. He stayed over here just nodded his look. Listen, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I want, I want to make it clear that I'm not the, one, the first one up here firing shots today that I'm defending myself. Ah, that was big hit over the middle. So instead of a third and 11, Let's see what TD Barrett has offensively. Remember, this isn't this isn't mutt, so kicks are a little tougher out here. There's no focus kicker, and the range is much shorter than you used to seeing in the Madden Bowl. Watch that outside fade to Hardman. If he catches him in cover two, he's gone. Smart decision, though. Still throws it anyway. He throws it anyways. Ooh. And he tried to highball that one. It's gonna go through the back of the end zone. In the words of Tony Romo, perfect throw. Like you said, Nick, this is this isn't an easy kick at all, especially in regs. Oh, no. Five yards. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. No slow kicker in regs. Even TD knows that. Noah's about to get the ball. He just, he's throwing another pick. He's been getting beat this game. He's got Eagles pride on the line. Mm -hmm. Might be in trouble. I mean, you know, this is starting to become a rivalry. I mean, we talked about the young kid and, and D. Croft rivalry. You know, we talked about the Clef and Cole stop, rivalry. Stop, stop. Let me stop you right there. That ain't. <laughs> let me let me stop you right there again. That ain't no rivalry. Let's Listen, stop. Let's stop putting that. That's easily top five that's, rivalry. That's the Clef and Cole rivalry is crazy. That's not a rivalry. When he stepped to you in the elevator, that's when it became a rivalry. That's not a, Whether you want to accept it or not. He ain't stepped to me in the elevator. He, <laughs> he was on the elevator. Boots. He was on the elevator. He said, hold on, hold on. Say that, hold on. Hold that door. And he stepped on there. Then he stepped to your bugs on my line. <laughs> no lies heard. Thank you. No lies detected. Oh, we just got two two people oh, lying for each other, man. <laughs> One thing about old heads, they sit together. Like <laughs> glue. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like let's, glue. Listen, I don't know why you're getting upset that you got a rivalry, man. You listen, know what I'm saying? Let's let's not uh -oh. be disrespectful to Kevin Deep. Where's Watkins? I didn't say it was the best rivalry. I said it was a Yeah, I, I mean, we, I was comparing the rivalries that we had, you know, TD and Noah. You know what I'm saying? Kiv and Decroft, you and Cole, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Did that. There's Quest Watkins, he can get the feet in bounds. I, I, I don't understand why, why do you feel so bothered about, you know? Because it's not a rivalry. You trying to make something I, out of nothing. I'm not making sometimes, nothing out of nothing. Sometimes you can't make something out of nothing. I thought the pizza <laughs> shop was going to show you that when you tried to make that barbecue sauce. Listen, you can't listen, always man. make something out of nothing. Hey, that's a great point. Listen, relax. We're, we're not going to we're not, we're not gonna talk about the food <laughs> critics now. That's what we're not going to do. You cross the line. Don't do that. I'm, it's, just, it's just the point. Well, you take 30 minutes to try to make a sauce that can't be made. I mean. First of all, what pizza place don't have buffalo sauce? Okay, they brought us ranch yeah, instead I of agree. buffalo. No, I agree with that. So bro. we was doomed for the start. You should have just gave up after 20 minutes, though. I mean, kept Listen, it going. Listen, like he was Chef Boyardee talking about warming me up some butter. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even know how buffalo sauce was made. How do you know that? Yep. Oh, it's Quest Watkins for a first down inside the 26-yard line goes Watkins. It's the most targets I think he might have ever had in the game. Fourth quarter, still a six-point lead for TD Barrett. That was a nice dot, though, from Noah. Goes to that corner route. Remember, regs, you know, the abilities aren't as important, so it's about that speed. And Quez Watkins, I believe, 94, 95 speed. So definitely a weapon out here, and, and, and Noah's going to him a lot. And this right here, this is a really uncomfortable situation for Noah. Anytime you down six in the fourth quarter, it feels like a touchdown. You're not really up because you're only up one point. And with it being regs, 40-second play clock, this is way easier to clock out. Oh, Dallas got it with the catch, one-on-one -on -one with Cook. He'll take it to the nine-yard line. Last time Noah was here, he threw a pick to LeJerry Sneed. Timeout taken by T.D. Barrett. Is Dallas Goddard in your top five tight ends, Nick? Right now, yes. I think he's got to be, right? 100%. Kelsey, Kittle, Waller. <laughs> you got about a... Uh, yeah, who am I missing? Kelsey. Dude, dude for the Ravens. Mark uh, Andrews. Yeah, Mark Andrews. George Kittle. I think Dalton Schultz is up there. You got got it. There's Jalen Hurts. Yeah, Jalen Hurts yeah, goes scrambling to the end zone. We're tied up. Man. If you know it right here, do you onside kick? 
Hold on. You, you I think you consider onside you. kicking. Uh. I think you you, play, you consider coming out onside kicking okay, in I this situation. Seven. At some point, I need seven. Either, yeah. either that or you play either extremely way. aggressive yeah. on, on the first couple plays. That way he gets in the red zone pretty fast. See how he's going to play it. Uh oh, he out of it. Derek McKinnon, McKinnon right up the seam. Can TD Bear cash in with a special teams touchdown? Wave goodbye to Jared McKinnon. That is a Madden sin right there. That's rule number one. Do not kick the ball down the middle, Matt. Don't kick the ball down the middle. Kick it right, left. Never kick it down the middle. I needed that, dude. The two time being lacked today is a call on his special teams, and he paid for it dearly. TD going to go for two. I like it. Single back wing stack. Not the biggest fan of the route combination no, I see here. I see a lot of vertical no, routes. I just want to prove to everybody that I'm trying. TD saying it's like not letting him. Yeah. I don't believe it. It's that controller on. He's not smashing the button. I don't believe it. <laughs> he's, not, he's not doing it right. It's a deep fake, man. Don't believe it. Does he want more time to think? He does. He don't know what's going on yet? He don't know what he want to run? No. Nah. Two-point conversion, trying to extend this to a full touchdown lead. Hmm. Should I chew? On, I shouldn't chew on the chain like that, right? I wouldn't hard. He's got the chain in his mouth. That's not. No. That's not no, the correct. No, okay. I tell you. No, I'm not. Not even you close. Put my chains in your mouth. It's going to be some furniture moving up here on this desk, you understand? Oh, okay, I, apparently I can't do that because it's not letting me snap again. Come on, please. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I, I promise you, I was trying. He that hit him with the fake out. That's crazy. That was, that was not like a calculated greasy move. I was oh, clicking. No, that was it. greasy. He knew it was. Sorry, Noah. That was, uh. No. He did it on purpose. Oh. We don't believe that was, it. That no would way. be a clever, He's uh, trying to use his, move, his Canadian that charm to overlook. An absolute, an absolute dirty move. As there goes the replay of Jarek McKinnon right down Broad Street. Could you imagine this happening in the MCS game? I can't snap the ball. I can't snap the ball. Touchdown. It's no, I'm going to tell you right now, there's no way Noah will let that fly with a lot of cash up on the line. No way. I'm not sure Boogs will let that slide in any game. You, can, you just can't let it slide. That will go for two. Oh, oh, he almost got out of there. I've seen those. I had someone play. AJ breaks tackles, dude. AJ breaks tackles. Here we go, here we go. I think that's a little, not a little bit. Oh, cage? Oh, is that Cage, oh, oh, Noah? Oh, and I, give I got a question. Is that Cage? <laughs> that looked a little bit boxed. Okay. Oh, now I can't. Now that I now that I said something, now I can't mess up. Okay, we go to the wing stack. That's, that's, that's the correct reaction. <laughs> the correct up. reaction. See, now he up. Now he gonna start. The friendliness will go out the window mm -hmm. a little bit. It's you can see it. Hey, clever. They say it's crazy when your idols become your rival. Yeah. Check, check. <laughs> check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Yep. Yeah. Check. That boy picked check. I know. Oh. Stiff arm. That, that was, as soon as I found out I had the Chiefs, I was like, you know what? They're kind of cold running the ball. Uh, yeah, we need to know Pacheco's stiff arm rating. This is where this is where you get. I gotta I gotta turn it on. Too. I'm no right. I'm not it. It's zero chance. I, I don't recommend it. this play. I might right regret here. it. It might be lame, but that two clock has got to go on here. Pacheco, I love. It. That's honestly a great situation if you're TD. The chances of you getting this first down is very, very high. But also, if you don't get it, you kick it through. Stopped him on defense. What would I normally do? Oh, we got a second. Let's go check in with Cynthia. Cynthia, if this is the position that, that the Chiefs and Eagles in are on That's Sunday, I mean, what's going to happen? Cut out. Cut out. Well, go! Actually, Pacheco. the Eagles are not really built to come from behind, so it is an interesting kind of forecast of what could happen. However, I do like the fact that Jalen Hurts got into the end zone himself in this matchup because I think that QB scrambling, rushing, that situation is going to be really important in the actual Super Bowl. 
look for him to have at least 55 rushing yards and maybe even a rushing touchdown. That's a good insight. Big shout out to Cynthia. Can't wait to check in with her with more from the Madden Bowl final as we a minute 57 left. This is not the position. I don't, I don't know, Books, if anybody saw the game going quite like this. I mean, Noah's out here throwing books left and right like a librarian. I mean, I, I kind of saw the game going this direction. The moment Noah started being way too friendly with TD, the moment he kind of fell for the bait and really just kind of sat down and said, you know what, I'm going to have a friendly game of Madden with TD, and we're just going to play what like this Andy game Reed means did. nothing. And like, you know, no, no, like TD's not going to hold it against him to the end of time. You know, it's just... I mean, it's crazy. I've never heard of a friendly game of Madden, you know? Me either. I mean, but, but I just saw one for the first time. But, user, you got a chance to play him earlier. Who do you trust more, TD Barrett or TD Tyler Davis? Uh, I, I'm going to have to go to YouTube. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. I'm going with Ty. You know, I just thought about the screenshot that TD is holding over my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm going, <laughs> I'm going with TD Davis. Matter of fact, I want to see if he keep that same energy. If he wins this game, is he going to take a, a screenshot of when he beat Noah? Oh, no. Oh, no. no. First no, you did it. Touchdown. Oh, man. RP. RP. Oh, no. Right RP, oh and you can no. just see, see Noah fell for the bait, man. He did. He thought oh, this was a friendly great. game. He did. I know TD and how I competitive he is. I know you can stop He's going like to hold on to this win. Like, like, this oh, no, he's going to cherish this win. Oh, he is. He is. I don't even want to talk about the conditions of that mudhead win, but he Not over he yet, knew. though. I, there might be, you know there might be. Oh, you about to make a YouTube video made on this? No, no, no. But I'm just saying. Listen, you see the type of tactics he's pulling out right now. Oh, Let me just tell you, this ain't the first time I seen him pull it out. Now we drop that. That's all I'm gonna say. That was the interception to read. Well, RPO action. Rookie out of Rutgers into the end zone. Noah down two scores, right, trying to right, find no, something quick. Can't. Can he get Quez no, Watkins? No, he does no, have him. 25, do 20, 15, 10, 5. That's the way to get back in the game. A quick score for Noah. That's a hot one over the top. Where, there he is again, Quez Watkins. A little smirk from Noah. But is it a little bit too late? Someone do the math for me. You guys got to give me a give me No, somebody do the math for me. It's 40. 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 This guy is still pretty bro. much over if he don't get an onside kick. Onside. No, yeah. I can't do it, bro. I can't. Zero I chance to get the onside like kick if TD win the score. I, As I, I was already doing my victory speech. I can't lose. Come on, man. Mm. 138. Mm. Someone please do the come math. Come on, give, on me a, give it to us. Oh, don't come fumble. on. Stanley, just don't fumble. Stanley, just don't fumble. Coach, what do Andy? I'm just looking at Andy at the sideline. 135. He's oh, asking Andy Reid. Need to know. I. I gotta know this better. I think, I think this one might be all over. I don't know. We need a fumble. We need a fumble. Come on. Take 40. We take 40. Come on, Pacheco. Drop the ball. And take 40. TD is clocking, man. It's no How class. did I let shot seem be? No class. How are you gonna clock a man that you butted up for one. three quarters? I hate that play. How you gonna clock a man that you butted up for three play. quarters, I hate man? That play. I hey, run man, that how the play, kids doing, man? How's school? Had him class. Dude, it's it's I'm gonna be honest, if he's real he's right good. here, he gonna get seven. <laughs> I blame Ben, <laughs> I blame everyone who's ever ran if, that play. If you really wanna put this yeah, game out the water, no, go get Dez, seven, man. It's gonna give you way more Dez. bragging rights. He's, he's gotta own that one. Right. He's gonna try to uh, sneak seven in there somehow. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure Henry's got it. I'm not sure if anybody does. Henry's not running stock freaking cover four in that situation. Um oh, what do I got? Eight seconds. What would someone smart do? What would someone smart do? I, no, I got the field goal. Never mind. Never mind. Run the ball, bro. Run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. Run the ball. Take it down. Five right, seconds. Right. Five seconds. Five seconds. A little bit of life. A little bit of yeah, ice. Ah. I feel like. They're not sending out the Sorry, field goal. I, I hate to wait. I know you want to see Dez and Henry, but I'm not. I don't know if there's a glitch <laughs> to go offside. And I, so I'm gonna. We're gonna sit here for 24 seconds. I'm gonna enjoy this. <sighs> I'm gonna enjoy Make it. Kick your think about this one though. You know, it's oh. a tough kick. No, it is a it's tough, tough kick. kick. But even it's if I miss, now. <laughs> well, if I do miss, that's not. But even if I miss, okay. Let me just what he should do is punt this. Yeah, just yeah, he, should. he should just stop punt this. But, but this this means too much. If you want to be disrespectful, put some more points on the board, man. 
I mean, let's be honest. Some more points on the board. Let's be honest. This it, means a lot to TD. You know what I'm saying? He he can pretty much left. tell you know his whole career, his catalog. You feel me? Let me sub in Darius Slay here off the edge. He's so gonna, right he's now, be, he's gonna be coming off the edge here quick. Freaking. By the way, no one took that time out in case anyone was wondering. Okay, Hunter. Hunter. Is this smart? Right? He better than me. I'm yeah. taking three. I'm taking. I'm taking three. Ooh, a punt. Okay. Yeah. Winning no, by is, ten and winning by seven. High IQ moves only. That's a big difference. High IQ moves only. This might be too high IQ. Don't you dare! If you block this, block Noah. This. If you block this, Noah. I. Okay. Come on, go get it. No, that uh, was too close. Sky kick. Sky kick. Someone get. Right, come on, someone some tackle blocks. Kobe. Some tackle Kobe. Give me some blocks. Uh, Big. Let's go, man. Well, that's your ball game. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit. I'm gonna enjoy. Hey. The controller might not have worked at the moment. Could have been a ploy. It was the difference in the game. 28-21, TD Barrett with a win. I mean, big win over a two-time belt winner. This is a huge win for TD Barrett. You know, started off pretty great. Noah fought back, but a big upset. And TD Barrett ran a lot of Noah's stuff, but he looked good doing it, and he gets the win here, 28-21. I, I just think that if you're an Eagles fan, you probably aren't hoping it goes like this. I mean, you you, you got to be disappointed. The way the two-time represented his team, the Eagles, I thought he would have more fight. Knowing that TD's going to use this for every market employee he can. All the YouTube videos oh, that yeah. TD is going to use on Noah right now. Uh -huh. This is why you cannot lose to a YouTuber because they just have so much and they're going to put it out there for the world to see. Yeah, uh, certainly a disappointing performance for Noah Boogs. Had an opportunity to, uh, especially at the beginning of the half, had an opportunity with a big drive. It's those turnovers and key moments that killed him today. Yeah, that, the biggest turnover right there, that, that pick where he threw it across your body, honestly, that's just, a, that's just a cardinal sin. You cannot make that throw right there. You have to just go ahead, either throw the ball away or just live to fight another down. Do something else. Don't turn the ball over in that situation. Let's take a look at some highlights from this Super Bowl preview game between TD Barrett and Noah up next. Clef, uh, this game uh, started out kind of slow. Yeah, started off slow. This really changed the game right here. When you get these throw out of sack picks, it changes everything because he goes down here and not only does he make them pay, he gets seven. You know, that's a, that's a seven point swing. Huge play right there. And just TD did a good job, you know, not making too many mistakes. You know, he, he didn't beat himself. He made Noah play a good game to, w to win the game. And, and that's a tough situation right there for Noah. You know, it's, it's a different situation when you're playing somebody and you know they out to get you. But TD did a great job of buttering Noah up, catching him off guard, and before he knew it, he was in a competitive game that he had already lost in the first quarter. And, and Boogs, when you think about this, how the tactic that TD pulled out, I think that was more important than his actual gameplay. Oh yeah, that was the most important thing of all. His ability to go ahead, get Noah off his game, turn it into a non-locked-in game for Noah, while all along he's locked in, trying to make sure he wins his game by double digits if he can. And Ty, you already know about being hustled because you grew up in the same era I did of playing this Madden. You've seen all the type of all the type of different tactics people can use to pull out a win. How shocked were you when you saw the tactic that TD pulled out today? Yeah, I really was. He goes with the RPO there to really break it open, 28-14. But yeah, you talked about it. Start buttering, buttering him up early, right? You're getting on his side and then you come out second half. Obviously, Noah got a big play here to Watkins to get back in it, but it was just a little bit too late. Didn't have those timeouts. And what a big win for T. Barrett. As you said, he's going to be blowing this thing up. You're going to see this all over YouTube, and you can never, you always got to keep your head on a swivel, even in games like this if you're Noah. Are any Chiefs fans out there that are hoping that that is how the Super Bowl goes coming up this Sunday uh, as they were able to get the win over Noah up next. Joining us now, the, the players from these two games, none other than TD Barrett and Noah. Gentlemen, a fun battle here in the Super Bowl preview game. TD to you first. Uh, big win for you. Got a win over a guy. He's got two belts to his name. Did you did you take this game a little more seriously than uh, I think uh, anybody expected you to? It looked like you were trying pretty hard out there. Yeah, no, well, I, I knew that I needed to try really, really hard if I was going to beat him. Dude, Noah's the, and like I said it to him, the thing, Noah's a great dude. I like him. Since we've played, we've talked lots. He's always like, even a couple of years ago, he helped me with a bunch of stuff. I got no ill will towards the guy. But I obviously, like, there's a lot of people who watched my YouTube who only saw that game against Noah. And I was like, if I could get a little bit of redemption. But, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was fun. Uh, it wasn't like, like I said, it was just like it was, a, it was an exhibition. So I'm not, my head's not 
too big over it, but um, it did feel good to um, to win something, in with <laughs> to win something because hey. I've lost the other game that I played in this. So yeah, well, any uh, wins or wins. Uh, as somebody who doesn't get a lot of them, uh, wins or wins. Uh, Noah, I'm gonna give you a moment here. You represented your Eagles. You came up with the L. Talk to Eagles Nation. Tell me about how this game is gonna go a whole different on Sunday versus how it went today against TD. Listen, Nick, uh, you you know about the Madden curse, right? So I was I was you guys said that TD was buttering me up, but I was letting him win, right? Because I I'm rooting for the Eagles. <laughs> I need Jalen Hurts to get the double on Sunday, so I let TD win because the because the Madden curse is real. So I did not want if I knew if I won today that the Chiefs were gonna win on Sunday. So you know I was gonna let T, I, I took it a little bit easy on him. Strategic. Let TD win, so my Eagles would win on Sunday. Hey, I like the I like the strate- the strategy right there for Noah, hoping that maybe he can get some of that good mojo onto the Eagles. Gentlemen, we got a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar game Madden tonight. I need some predictions from y'all. TD Barrett, who do you have taking on the Madden Bowl title tonight? Will it be Dez or Henry? I gotta go with Dez, man. Fellow member of uh, TDM, love Dez. Um, when the game came out, Dez helped me a ton. Um, and uh, I'm just a big fan of him. I, I got Dez. Henry's obviously a great player, taking nothing away, but I. I got to rock with Dez on this one. Noah, to you. You're riding with Dez. You're riding with TD Barrett. Or are you going to go with the five-time belt winner, Henry? Uh, I think if you're fading Henry, you're crazy. I mean, the dude's just on an absolute tear right now, and I really don't see anyone beating him. So I got to go with Henry. Well, one for each way. Uh, it was a fantastic game, guys. Thank you so much for doing this. Enjoy uh, the show tonight. Enjoy the Super Bowl coming up this weekend. Coming up next, the epic conclusion to the MCS 23 season. The number one and number two ranked players in the world, Henry and Dez. But before that, our own Tyler Davis caught up with Dez earlier today about how he feels heading into the biggest match of his career. What's going on guys? Tyler Davis along with Madden Bowl finalist Dez. We are here on the prestigious John Madden Field. Dez, you know, I sat on this field nine months ago. I did predict you as having, you know, one of a, a breakout season, one of the best rookie of the year campaigns. Madden 23, who do you have your eye on as a newcomer to make a splash uh, in the new game? The kid named Dez. I called a few of his games in the youth championship. He's only 16 right now. He's one of the newest guys on the scene. Here you are, who would have thought? Quarter million dollars on the line, you made it here to the Madden Bowl Championship game. Just talk about this journey as one of the greatest rookie seasons we've ever seen. Nah, yeah, I mean, the journey has been insane. Uh, if you would have told me nine months ago that I would be playing in the Madden Bowl final for Henry for a quarter million dollars, I would have said you're out of your mind. Let's take it back, the game against Kid. Well, obviously, I know you're a confident kid all the time, but you, I mean, your confidence had to be in question a little bit, four interceptions, but you do pull it out against a legend like Kid. I feel like that did a lot for you, especially in your first live event atmosphere. Just talk about battling through that game and getting to this finals. Yeah, I mean, my emotions were all over the place that game. Uh, the way that I was able to fight back and win that game, I think it did a lot for me personally, especially going into this game versus Henry. What do you have to do in this game to take down Henry, who's been on a crazy run? Yeah, I mean, I gotta start out fast. I can't start the game like Kiv. Just gotta avoid the turnover. I, just gotta, sure. I gotta start fast, and I also just can't be afraid of him. I feel like most people that play him, they're kind of afraid of him, think that he's not unbeatable, but I feel like he is. Uh, Des, well, we can't wait. You versus Henry, Madden Bowl Championship, $250,000 on the line. Who's going to get the belt? Des, appreciate you taking the time, man. And good luck tonight. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. Tune in this Saturday, February 11th, for the third annual Madden NFL 23 HBCU Tournament. The top Madden HBCU players will compete for $70,000 in prizes. That's this Saturday, February 11th, on the NFL YouTube channel at 3 p.m. Eastern. Let the Pro Bowl games begin in Madden NFL Mobile. Sharpen your QB skills in the brand new Precision Passing Drill, now available in the Super Bowl event. Scan the QR code to play now.
king of the Madden Let's community, go. Joke has won. We'll have a special on his head, build. put a belt around his waist with ice in his veins. Henry has gone back to back. He is your ultimate Madden Bowl champion and your Madden 22 GOAT. Take one, six. The choices we make when we're faced with adversity make us who we are. When under the bright lights, with the pressure mountain, who will you choose to be? End zone, touchdown! Will you be forgotten? Or will your legacy live forever? Let's go! The time is now. What choice will you make? The ultimate Madden Bowl, the grandest stage of them all. It's time for the ultimate Madden Bowl. The Madden Bowl. Million dollars up for the whole tournament. The best two Madden players in the world are ready for the opportunity of a lifetime. Dan is on to the Madden Bowl final. Henry Leverett, the top guy in the game right now. But only one earns the honor being called a champion. The two best players all year long, Dez will meet Henry. Number one seed versus number two seed. Whose name will be etched in the history books? Whose legacy will be celebrated? Who will be remembered? One million dollars on the line. One coveted Madden championship belt. One shot at glory. Ever since he stepped on the scene, you can see that the guy is not afraid. Greatest of all time. For the naysayers, he has one more. This is prime time. Two biggest stars of the new school are gonna collide. The ultimate Madden Bowl final starts now. Thousands competed all year long to get to this point, but only two have a chance to be the ultimate Madden Bowl champion. There are your competitors. The youngest belt winner in history, Dez, taking on the five-time champ, the Madden Goat Henry, for $250,000 and the ultimate Madden Bowl belt. It's time for the ultimate Madden Bowl, presented by PS5, live from San Francisco, California. So happy to have you guys along with us as we crown a champion tonight. Nick Mazesco alongside one great user, Tyler Davis, Bogues and Cleft the God. We will take you through all the action tonight, user. This is as good as it gets. The top two players all year long battle it out for the crown. Nick, this is what the community has been waiting for. You always want to see the best of the best play, the top of the top, and now we're getting to see it. Can Dez step up and shake up history? Can he knock Henry off his high horse? We will see Henry has been full steam for the only miss one live event. Out of yeah. every event he ever attended, this guy's phenomenal. Like I said, seven finals. Can Dez do the impossible? If anybody can do it, it has to be the number two guy in our sport. Ty, not only that, today we get to hand out our first belt in person. We get to see the full celebration. We get to see the champ carry the belt since Noah's belt in Madden 20 Challenge. Uh, special moment here from San Francisco. Yeah, first belt we're giving out in person in three years. It's been a six-month grind since back in August. Thousands and thousands have competed to try to get to this moment. This is our Super Bowl. The biggest stage we have in Madden, our competitive eSport, and only two guys remain, and they're the two biggest stars of the new generation. We got the Rookie of the Year, and we got the GOAT. It's going to be a battle. Folks, crazy to think Dez is under that Rookie of the Year category. He's been so good this season. Might have a historical run if he's able to get a win today and launch his career to a place we didn't even think was possible. Man, when you think about what Dez has done so far, the man has three live events three Final Fours in those three live events, and two finals. We we're going to see if he can have two belts with those three uh, live events. It's just crazy and unprecedented what he's done so far. Clef, on the flip side, what more can you say? He's got five belts. This is Henry's Jordan moment looking for number six. Yeah, this Henry Jordan moment, man, and I don't even know what to say. You run out of words trying to describe the run he's on because we have not seen it before. We'll never see it again. And it's just, it's just crazy to think about. We didn't think – when people used to say they had three belts, you'd be like, wow. Well, he's setting new standards. The ceiling has been broke. And, man, I can't say enough about what he's doing and, and what he's still going to do in the future. 
I mean, a historic game here from Redwood City. Cannot wait to see how this one sets up. Now, our guys all year long, they've been giving out their predictions. It's maybe what everybody looks forward to most from the broadcast is those predictions. Some have been good. Some have been great. Some, well, some have been books. Uh, true Bush. Ooh. I mean, it like, I like, is this like the true shooting percentage, the true mush percentage? Yeah, this is the true Look at the sample percentage. size, man. Ten yeah, plus, the guy, plus the guy. I ain't even been here that They long, put the man. crown on user, though. You notice that? They put the crown on user, but you're a full, what, 8% who, better? Who, who in charge of this, man? I need to know who in charge of this. Because this is crazy. Why does he have the crown yeah, right I just use it the crown. Because I want to always have the crown. Time out. Ten and six. Time out. They put me as the turkey in the corner there. Did anybody see that one? That's crazy. They put the swag lord in the turkey suit. Hmm. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, it's a final chance to improve your guys' record. I'm going to think about that and contemplate who I'm giving hugs after this show because I know back there there's a lot of people that are enemies right now. Let's get predictions. Uh, let's start with Tyler Davis. Uh, you had predicted Dez to make some noise at the beginning of the season. He's here in the Ultimate Madden Bowl final. Are you going to ride with that pick? Are you going to stand with your convictions? Or are you going to do the Tyler Davis move and pick Henry? You know, nine months ago, I sat out there on John Madden Field. Mm -hmm. I said Dez was going to get... I didn't know about this moment, but I knew he would have a great that year. That was your guy. That was my guy. I rode with him all year. He's been showing me. He's been showing out. He's been paying off what I said. But we're talking about okay, the king. Yep. <laughs> we're talking about the new goat, the actual goat. I picked the winners. I got to go Henry. This is a tough one, close <laughs> game. I'm going with Henry. That was the most user answer I've ever heard. <laughs> the talking out of both sides is crazy. Bugs, uh... Who are you going with, Dez or Henry, and your thoughts on the despicable act by this man in the red shirt? Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm not surprised that Ty did what Ty does. Just really just taking the favor at all times. He really doesn't go out on a limb. He's been talking all this Dez talk, big, picking them up, and you know, just building them up and to not really take them is crazy. I mm -hmm. call the Dez henry rivalry. I did. I, I said, you know what, that's something that people need to see. We're about to see the beginning of it. And I think it starts with a Henry W. Clef, Hen Dog, Jordan Moment, six belts on the line. Dez looking for number two. Who you got? Yeah, and I think this game right here, this will show you why Henry is where he is. We saw, you know, in his last game, how he changed versus Fancy, double or nothing, and he went and got Mercedes Lewis just to have secure protector. Right here playing against Dez. I expect him to have something and use Kiv game plan against Dez. You know, Kiv really put Dez in a box. He just couldn't close the door. Henry, the high-level mad in mind he is, he's going to replicate that. And I expect Henry to – I expect him to run away with this one, man. User, I don't know if you remember. Go back to the remote shows. First, mm -hmm. the first bout of mm -hmm. predictions, it wasn't with everybody. No. It's all about you. Yeah. It was yeah. you making it. You were the one that they photoshopped uh, on the boat That's at the true. bush. And we saw here, you're the king of predictions right now. That's true. At 55%. That's true. Last opportunity. That's true. Who you got? I mean, you know, where I'm about to take this, I know the Madden community, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ruffle a lot of feathers. They're like, why are you doing it? Clef's. He saw me step off the airplane. He said, what you got in your hand? I said, you know, this is our first live event in three years. And I took so much slander with having. That's right. The glove is back. That is absolutely right. And I felt like what better place to break the curse than to put it on King Henry's head. If anybody can get the job done going for his Fifth belt single, six total, it has to be King Henry. So, yes, and you know what? I spoke to him. He said, you know what, user? I'm so glad you got the gauntlet with you. Pick me, because if I lose, I'm blaming everything on you. I say, Henry, you can't get the easy way out. You got to show the world that there is no voodoo, no power in the glove. So we're going with King Henry. He's going to make history today, and we're going to put this glove to rest. It's, it's, it's a daunting proposition seeing this in person. I've only seen it remotely. I can't believe he broke it out for the final. The mush might actually be bad. If Dez wins this game, we have to talk about this because no. then we know we know who the true mush no, is. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it might be the glove itself, an inanimate <laughs> yeah. object. The fact that he's waiting to the championship game to try to do that to somebody is crazy. Like, you could have did this a long time ago, man. No, no, no. You could have did. You ain't have to wait for these young men to be I playing mean, for listen, 250K in a belt. Listen, Henry's doing something unprecedented. Can he continue that unprecedented run with the power of the mush, the voodoo on his back? We'll see. Well, we got to see how these guys square up to each other because these uh, are two of the most accomplished players. It's our tale of the tape. Look at those records, 19-3, 22-3.
a, a combined quick math over $500,000 earned in this year alone, and they're looking to add another 100000 today. Number one versus number two on the biggest stage in our sport with a quarter million dollars on the line. This is big time, but there can only be one champion of the Madden Bowl. This is going to be epic. You guys ready to kick off the Ultimate Madden Bowl Final presented by PS5? This is the biggest game, maybe in Madden history, with the number one of two players. There's $250,000 on the line and a legacy to build. Henry takes on Dez. We kick off the Ultimate Madden Bowl Final from Redwood City, California. It will be the champ, the five-time champ with the ball first. Henry will start out on offense. What more can be said about this man? Henry is the GOAT. Five belts to his name, TD. This man needs no introduction. Yeah, cold faced right there. You saw it. We saw it in the in the talent lounge earlier. He has been dialed in for about five hours now. No emotion. Just listen to the music. Getting ready. Seven MCS final appearances. Just unbelievable. 13 out of 14 events. And he's looking for championship number six. The most all time. And remember, he's 19 years old from Austin, Texas. He already has the highest career win percentage, the highest earning player in MCS history, his fourth career Madden Bowl appearance. Clef, is there anything this man hasn't done? No, there's nothing he hasn't done. And there's nothing he has to prove for any of the naysayers or doubters out there. Why are you, you just want to doubt the doubt. You just want to be different. This man, not only is it nothing he hasn't done, he's doing things that nobody has ever done. And I truly believe that nobody will ever do. Take a look at some changes from Henry's roster then versus now. How about Tyreek Hill? How about Tracy Porter? We're out there, TD. Now, Chris Olave and Denzel Ward. Yeah, so a lot of these, both these guys rock in similar rosters, but you see the two big changes there. Going over to that Chris Olave, which will be very popular in this matchup. Then, of course, going with uh, getting rid of Tracy Porter and going with that Denzel Ward, who I know, Nick, you love Denzel big Ward fan. from the Cleveland Browns, an absolute stud on that defense. D. Ohio State University. He's got a tall task. Got to take on the number two seed. As somebody who, if it weren't for Henry, uh, would be considered the best player in the world right now, user. Maybe a little Carl Malone esque to when Jordan was playing. Dez, what a season he has had. Dez has been putting together an incredible year, and now he has to go out and knock off the top dog of this sport. Can he break, some, break up something historical? I believe Dez can do it because he has that confidence. He, I believe this is going to be a great defensive game. Now, you know Henry saw his matchup versus Kia. Even though Dez pulled it out, Dez cannot come out here and put on that same performance that he did versus Kia and throw four interceptions because I promise you, he will not make it out with another belt if he comes out here and plays like that versus Henry. And Henry knows, and you saw we talked about the notable card switches. You have Denzel Ward out there. He's going to try to come out here and run man on Dez. I would love to see how Dez is going to counter that. Here's the changes for Dez's roster. Boogs, you look, Mark Brunel and Bo Jackson. Big change at the quarterback position. A 99 overall Tom Brady. Oh, yeah, that Tom Brady right there is unreal. You have the gunslinger, the pass lead elite, which is better than the set feet elite because now pass lead elite means he can now pass lead on the run as well. Set feet, you have to be standing, standing still and standing in the pocket. But with the pass lead elite, he can also make those same throws on the run. Clef, something to be brought up also. Not only does Dez have family here, he's got his parents. We saw that great interview in our Nick. preview show. But this is a little bit of home field advantage. Newport Beach, California, not a lot of travel for Dez. He's got to feel very comfortable out here. Yeah, he's comfortable out here. You heard his parents say they grew up around here. They're from the area. This is comfort zone. You know, they get to see friends while they're here. It's not like they're really on the road. Yeah, and I talked to Dez. Let's get Dez. Nice cool. and, and Dez actually went 20 minutes down the road to stay at his grandfather's house these last few days. Instead of being in the hotel, he had his, he had a, he had his PlayStation uh, these last few days at his grandfather's house. So he's been in the lab. He said practice mode nonstop preparing for this moment against Henry. Big fourth and two early in this game. The five-time champ Henry looking to convert. First major moment of this game. Irvin and Reed out to the left side. Olave right side of that formation. Rob Gronkowski at tight end. Tom Brady, 99 overall at QB. Dez starts off this game with a massive Very stop. Early. Wow. That's a huge stop. 
You know, you're coming in as, under, as the underdog facing King Henry. Sure, Has to come out here and lock up and go four and out. That lets you know Dez, he's setting the tone. You see him chirping. He's not afraid of the five time, four time, however many times you want to crown him. He says, guess what? I'm going to take care of this man right here face to face. Clef, how does that game, how does this momentum feel on the other side? When you're sitting there, you get the ball first, a chance to drive down the field, you go four and out. That's got to be deflating. Oh, it's deflating for Henry, and it's everything else for Dez, man, right here. Because you want to get seven. You can see right here he's sending five. Dez will send five every single play. He's going to be relentless. It's going to be tough for Henry to deal with. I expect Henry to mix in some inside zone and really force him to pinch that line. If you let that line stay spread, stay normal, it's a lot to deal with. On first and ten, Brady back to pass for sure. Dez, and he's just going to throw this one away. Uh, I think we're going to see a whole lot of heat from these defenses. Oh, yeah. Both these guys going to send that pressure. Of course, you see Dez rocking that New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. He's been so good with it all year. And the thing is, he's going to use all these different formations. Tight, bunch, tray, uh, stack Y flex. Going to the tight once again here. On second down, pressure off the That's edge. The yeah, it's Michael Irvin. Very early. Very early. And Ooh. you know Dez finding the Cowboys legend, Michael Irvin. What a way to start the game for the 17 year old. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Looks like he's ready. I mean, we talked about it, the way he carries his presence around this building. He does not seem like a rookie. It seems like he's been here multiple times before. He carries that same type of swagger as Kiv does in the building, like he's ready for the moment. And as you see, he comes out here playing phenomenal defense, gets the big stop. And one key thing, one key thing we talk about is we look at the replay, comes back with a high ball, dot short post over the middle. It's so important to get seven when you get those turnovers. Folks, we're not going to see Henry Sweat. This is somebody who's as calm, oh. cool, and collected as there is. But is there a little bit of pressure, a little bit of that adrenaline running through his veins right now? None whatsoever. When you have the confidence that Henry has right now, he's done this thing five times. So that means he has a certain comfort level right now where he's just not going to be shook by the moment. It doesn't bother him. He's just going to stay calm. He's going to stay cool. He's going to continue to just, just march along and then find a way. By the way, second drive for Henry. It's the first completed pass. One for four to start this game. Third and short. Balls at the 35-yard line. Going to the bunch formation. Reed, Gronkowski, and Olave in the bunch. And it will be a handoff to Davis in the run defense from Dez. That's great lab work right there oh by Dez. Goodness. That is that is next level man to come out here and shoot that. An another fourth down opportunity. Another opportunity for Dez to get off the field. Urban and Reed over to the left side. Olave and Gronkowski on the right side. Terrell Davis left hip of Brady. A 99 overall tribute card. Here comes the pressure. Quick throw. He finds Olave, who holds on and picks up a first down. That's scary right there. Tight window, but does convert, stays alive. And Henry known for his quick snap. He's kind of given Dez a lot of time there. He finally goes with the quick snap, and it comes through. But Dez is getting tons of time to set up his defense. You see he's even able to bring the safeties down in the box, and, and Henry taking a lot of time on these pre-snap adjustments. But that's one thing you got to do when you're playing dollar. You have to be patient to set up your protection. You try to quick snap, you're going to be under duress. And this is what's happening to King Henry right now. He wants to keep up the pace, but when you're playing against dollar, that's not the defense. You can just go ahead and snap there without setting your protection. On third down, Henry back to pass over the middle. Give me that oh, shit. Picked up by on, Teddy bro. Hendricks. Dez, two defensive stops to start this game. A masterful way to kick this off if Dez is looking for an upset. The way he started this game right here, he sent relentless pressure. He's been getting a lot of pressure on him, and that's really the key to, to really having success oh, against him. That's, that's a dot. KO? Wow. Anytime you can get pressure on Henry, because he wants to send five out a lot. Look at the celebration from Dez. He knows a way to start. Clef, have we ever seen a start like this against Henry? It's been a long time since he's been against the ropes like this. No, we have not seen this right here. And he might have a lobby again. Mm. Misses the tackle inside the five. Dez is at the four-yard line. This is a tough position right here for Henry. You know, you you already down two possessions. You could possibly be down 14 points, and he gets ball at half. This is a really tough spot to be in, especially with how fast these games go. Out of the single back. Three tight ends. And Keith Byers is the back. Gives it to Byers. User meets him. He shakes him off. And he's into the end zone. Byers puts Dez up by two scores. Nick, I don't think anyone expected this to come out here and see the champ get locked up two times. And Dez responding, getting sevens on each turnover on down. Each turnovers. No one expected this. You see my face? You're shocked. I'm shocked. 
shot. I am, I am flabbergasted. And, and you know, but Cliff, this is the reason why a lot of people said, now you said it right before the game, you said Henry has nothing to prove, but I told you he got one more game. It says we look at look back at the replay right here. Interception on third and ten. Dez is just playing phenomenal defense, handing it to Byers and just getting big boy as he stumbles and bumbles into the end zone. Clef, but like I said, you know, you only got he still has to prove it. One more game. He's yet to win that championship live. I know you don't want to talk about it, but the streets are saying this is what they needed to see. That's not a real thing. Man. Okay. That, just, I, I just, I just, you might not think it's a real that, thing, but I that's what the streets that believe. Nerd. The streets is wrong. Okay. The streets is wrong. Stepping up, looking over the Let's left go. side. There's Rob Gronkowski, big 87. Scott, I know you love to see Gronk out there. Oh, of course I do. And this is where we find out what Henry's really made of. You hear the guys talking about it, whatever you want to say, not being in person. But now Henry really hasn't faced a lot of adversity, mm. especially these last three years and now he puts himself in that spot. What does the King do? How's he going to bounce back? The tight slots, it's Brady stepping up, and oh Brady sitting down. And to be honest, this isn't the way Henry played. I've never seen him try to play this fast and this up-tempo. He's way more methodical than this. He usually take his time. So this is really shocking to me to see him just, so why is just snapping things. So why is it? Uh, probably because he's down 14 nothing and he's pressing right now. Third and 14, it's Reed right side to the 45-yard line. We will catch up with Boogs, User, and Clef at halftime. 14 nothing, Tyler Davis. This game, I mean, there's a lot left. This could have a couple more twists and turns along the way. Yeah, what a shocking start. Another fourth down. Is he going to come up? He does. Yeah, he's got gets, Gronkowski. Gets that was behind the read. User there with Gronk. Henry stays alive, but man, he is in a tough spot. Dez looks like he's in on, on an absolute mission. He's been set in the heat, and Henry looks a little flabbergasted, just struggling against this, this, this dollar pressure. So there's Tracy Porter with the sack, losing a yard. The times that Henry's had success, it's been getting the ball out quickly. Second down and 11. Stepping up left side, there's Gronkowski. Pressure, or the uh, the protection held up for a second there. Let Gronk open. That's been his favorite target so far. Yeah, he's had success with that corner up to Gronk. We'll see if he keeps going back to it. Remember, Henry always audibles over from bunch to tight in that Indianapolis Colts offense playbook. He is going extremely fast right now. You know Henry wants to try to score, you know, as soon as possible, definitely before the two-minute warning because he wants to maybe get a stop and then get on offense again. So he is going as fast as humanly possible. On well, second and two. Tried to throw it up the seam. Instead, it's McAllister with another sack. Dez doing his best queen impression, the amount of under pressure there is out here. Yeah, playing a dangerous game, though, going that fast. You see, he slowed it down here, but he's sending out five every time. This time goes the angle route, and he's going to have another fourth down. Fourth down, nothing easy out here. Is a timeout taken by Dez. Didn't like the, the hurry up offense. Fourth in a yard. And the run offense has not been there for Henry. Dez shooting those gaps. Bunch over to the left side. Now he'll motion to tight. It's Brady back to pass. Pressure off the That's edge. Got to get rid of it. That's Another stop for Dez. And once again, the defense, the name of the game in the first half, as the youngest MCS belt winner looks for belt number two. And you see the confidence growing. Bob in his head. He's in the moment right now. He's enjoying this. And he is playing lights out early. So impressive from the young 17-year-old. For the first time in this game, let's toss it over to the, the person with all the numbers, all the stats. It's our very own Cynthia Freeland. Cynthia? So the interesting thing we're seeing in this game is we haven't seen any points scored in the second quarter yet, which is the highest scoring quarter for Madden. About 36% of all points happen in the second quarter, probably due to adjustments after each team has seen their opponent's kind of game plan work out. And also... Don't be so worried about Henry yet. He does score points quite quickly, and his defense sets him up for points off of turnover way better than most other Madden players. So I'm not worried yet. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. I know you're not worried, but I think there are a lot of Henry fans out there that might be a little nervous right now at 14-0. And Dez with the ball, third and a yard. He's got a first down. It's Terrell Davis inside the 40 to the 43-yard line. And Dez loves that stack Y flex formation. He will audible to it a good bit. Loves the running back on the quick wheel. If you don't have a hard flat out there or sometimes you blitz, you can go to the running back in the flat. He does that, picks up a nice first down. Nearing a minute, there's Terrell Davis trying to find some room. The other TD to the 48 yard line gets five and he hurries back to the line. You see Dez using that clock perfectly here because remember, three is fine. You go up 17 nothing and a half against Henry, you're in a good spot. But with that completion right there, he might get a little bit more aggressive and go down and get seven. But if you're Dez, you just want to make this the final possession of the first half. 
$250,000 on the line. It's Davis with a handoff. Dez can do no wrong right now. His defense has been locked in. Offensively, he's moving the ball. And what have we noticed on this drive? He's mixing in the run game a lot more. We've seen some inside zones. We've seen some 0-1 traps. He's staying balanced. This time goes to, the, to flood out a bunch with that smart route and deep out route. Does a great job against man coverage. High balls it. And now he's cooking here. Not going to use a timeout. So he's got to go quick here. Try to get another snap off. 14 seconds and counting, he finds Rob Gronkowski, left side, doesn't have the first down, but we'll get to the 15-yard line, 11 seconds remain. And it's remarkable that he is 17 years old. I mean, the clock management is flawless here. He's taken every single second. Don't want to make a critical mistake down here, but he's doing a great job. Calls the timeout, has two shots at the end zone. Throws it up. Oh, to the left side. Reed going up for a dangerous throw. Could have been a turnover. And that's scary because we know that Stez is patented play in the red zone. Loves that high ball out of fade out, that wheel route to the receiver. He loves to high ball that, usually versus one on one. That time, Henry doing his lab work gets two guys out there. Scary pass from Dez. He's going to look like he's going to take one more shot here and then potentially kick three. On third and short, he's got Davis out of the backfield. He tackled the nine yard line. He will use a timeout, three seconds left. He will gladly bring the field goal unit out. And we are looking at a possible 17 nothing halftime score with Des the one being on top. This is absolutely brilliant. I mean, this. That lab work this weekend at his grandparents' house. This, this is all the preparation. He said he's been in practice mode all week preparing for this moment. I don't think he could have dreamt these last few nights of a better first half for $250,000 than this. So, so impressive. And Nick, he's going to also get the ball to start the second half. This has been domination here in the first half of our championship game. Well, Henry's going to have some time to take a deep breath. You see the champ, not wavered, but certainly concerned. After one half of play, a frantic half at that. 17-0, Dez defensively brilliant. He will have the ball to start the second half as he looks to close out his second belt. Halftime, let's check in the guys. Throw it over after a wild first half to user and Bugs. Gentlemen? I mean, before y'all even get out of control, let's be honest, Dez is putting on a phenomenal performance right here, and it has nothing to do with the glove. Bugs, you see this performance right here? Let's, let's talk Madden. That's all we need to do is talk Madden, okay? Uh -huh. After this first half performance, what, what do you see as the big key difference of why Dez is dominating this game right now? Uh, the big key difference I see in this game, why he's dominating right now, is I see someone that brought out a glove that really could have stayed at home. But that's not even something we need to that's talk crazy. about. What we need to talk about is the fact that Dez has been sending five relentlessly at Henry. And that's really a key to success against Henry because he loves to send five out and just let his eyes work. But with Dollar, you can get a lot of pressure when you're running that Dollar defense because Dollar is really good, consistent pressure. But whereas Vaughn is against the run, so Henry's going to have to try to find a run that can really open up. You know, and you look at this situation, Clef touched on it, where it seems like Henry is pressing because you know Dollar, Dollar, I hear you say it all the time, hey, Dollar's not a defense you can quick snap. You just have to be patient and you have to make your adjustments. Is there some way, I mean, Henry's down 17 and you know that Dez is going to stay in that Dollar. How do you pick up the pace but still set up your protections? I mean, that's really one of the scary things when you're coming out in the second half because you're starting to feel like time, is, time isn't your friend. So you start to feel like, you know what, I can't take my time. I have to speed up the pace. You're down three possessions in this situation, but you still have to just say, you know what, I still have two quarters. Let me just go ahead, take my time a little bit, and really kind of fill it out in the first drive. If you can put together a successful drive on your first drive, then it really puts you in a position where you can continue that pace. Yeah, and, you know, as we, as we look at this, you know, Dez hasn't had to drive the field yet. Mm -hmm. He's been getting his stops on the other side of the field. And we look at one of the replays. I got Clef over there, the big boy. He's going to break it down where you see Henry pressing just a little bit. Clef, you let me know what's going on on this play over there. Yeah, man. First of all, let's say user, the glove definitely has a lot to do with this. He could have left it at home. On, he man. didn't. But let's get into this play. This is for everybody who say, oh, pro players, they only run one play. No, there's a lot of things going on in between the plays. Yeah, he might come out and DB fire every play. But it looks different when the ball is snapped. Right here, you can see Ted Hendricks right here. He's going to be manned up on this tight end. He's going to be manned up on this tight end. And then you got Champ Bailey, that top safety right there. He's manned up on circle. Why? I don't want anything thrown fast. You know, against Dollar, the key thing is try to attack the seams because the safeties are so far deep. Well, what does he do? He brings these safeties all the way in the box. 
Then, talk about a great user right here. It's called user and nothing. You know, you're just in the middle of the field. You're not really doing nothing. But to your opponent, it looks like you're using two routes. Go ahead and roll this play. Big play in the game right here. You can see how he kind of takes away this user right here. Takes away square. Takes away the running back R1. And then Ted Hendricks manned up. Ted Hendricks is a tall player in Madden 6'7". Big time pick right there. And just the first half, Dez has made Henry really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. Has sped him up, which we have never seen with Henry. Man, what a first half it's been. All Dez. Let's toss it back to Nick and my guy, T. Davis. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Let's take a look at the items that these players created if they're able to win the Madden Bowl. Starting off with Henry's item, Daniel Fa'alele. I mean, look at this man, TD, a beast. This is a big boy, and he's gonna be just absolutely a, a disaster to stop. Six foot eight, I believe. I mean, imagine trying to tackle this man. 98 carry, 97 break tackle. Henry obviously, you know, doing the right thing. What? Look at this, unbelievable card. On the flip side, Tariq Wallen, what a season he had for the Seahawks. And this, this is crazy. The Mutt team, very generous. Tariq Woolen, a cornerback. They're giving him a free safety card if he's able to win this game. Oh, man, Tariq Woolen, just an absolute monster in Madden. Six foot four. You got him at safety week, so we can get him at linebacker. You can put him at corner, safety, wherever on the field. This Tariq Woolen, oh, man, this is the card I'm going to have on my squad. Oh, you see all the stats there, 97 hit power, 97 zone, and 97 man. But that height, so critical in Madden Ultimate Team. Time now for another dump truck giveaway. I'm gonna go back to giving away those three AKI A items, D-Hop, Hitman, and the Warden. And then that 97 overall, Kyler Murray coming out tomorrow. Our winner, DKO638. DKO638, congratulations. You're taking home our third dump truck of the evening. It's time to take a look at our MCS, Madden 23 Power Rankings Powered by Ram Trucks. Taking a look at the top 10, our top two players in action today. Henry and Dez have been the leaders basically the entire season long. The two players who have won all the belts this season. Clef God's still sitting there at number three, by the way. I see you there, Clef, number three. I got you. Well, you know, two people who are probably pretty excited about how this first half is going are Dez's parents. They're standing by with Cynthia. Well, all right here, this is the unique situation where not only were you your son's father, but also his coach. So you're watching this. I walked in. We're a little ner There's some nerves going on. How do you feel about this upset to start the game? Coach, let us know. I uh, just I didn't see this coming at all. It's just uh, out of left field. Uh, we're preparing for Henry, thinking that, you know, there's going to be lots of scoring. And for him to shut him out in the first half, it's been crazy. Uh, I know you're the stats person, uh, but did you know in his other three MCS uh, games that no opponent has scored on him in the second half? Well, now he's coming after my job here as well. So, Mom, I want to know from you, you're going to give your son just one piece of advice going to the second half. What's it going to be? I'm ready. I used to give him speeches all the time before his um, Pop Warner games. It is Peyton. You got this. Stay in your head and focus. Take your time. And you are where you're supposed to be. I love that. You are where you're supposed to be. We're where we're supposed to be. And now, Nick, are you back where you're supposed to be? <laughs> I hope so. I hope I'm in the right spot. 17-0 here in our ultimate Madden Bowl championship. The number two seed, the 17-year-old Dez, with a three-score lead over the five-time belt winner, Tyler Davis. And he gets ball to start the second half. So impressive. And, you know, talking to Dez's parents, they're great people. And just, you know, take it back to where Dez made that decision, right? That's never an easy decision. Came up to his dad and said, hey, Dad, I, I don't know if I want to pursue football anymore. There's this thing called Madden that I'm really, really good at. Never an easy decision for both him and his dad, right? They had to sit down, have that conversation. But I think at this point, everyone involved is happy with the outcome on, on track here for potentially $250,000 in his pocket. So I definitely think he made the right decision, making the family proud, of course, making himself proud. Now we're about to see, though, what Henry is made out of, right? All the pressure in the world on Henry. You may not win this game, but you cannot go down without a fight here in the second half. Second and four, it's Gronk out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Yeah, nice check down right there. Flood concept goes to the flat route to the right side. Henry, you know, staying down underneath there. See what Dez cooks up. He's going to go bench two corner routes. 
Right side, Chris Olave with the catch and a first down on third and one. You know, they mentioned that he didn't have to go on too many long drives, but he's been comfortable in this situation. He has. And second half, he's been great. You see him there go to that Chris Olave, switch from that Tyreek Hill Cheetah AK card over to this Chris Olave. Chris Olave's been pretty big for him so far in this game. Henry with finally getting a, a little stop in the backfield, losing two. Second and 12, bunch formation. Brady back to pass, stepping right, and he'll throw this one away. Finally, we're seeing some defense from Henry. This is what he needs. Yeah, and you know, we saw last week, Henry did play a lot of zone, right? And in this game, he's primarily been man, of course, switching from that uh, Tracy Porter over to uh, Denzel Ward out there. Uh, with the inside shade ability. So you know you want to play much more man coverage here against Dez. And Dez hasn't, you know, the, the, the drives have been methodical. But Henry looking good right here. Got to find a way to get off this field third and 12. See if he sends that loop off the edge. I expect man coverage again. We'll see if Dez picks it up. And if he can make a read. Screamer. In trouble. Down goes Brady. Henry forces a fourth and 18. We'll get the ball back. Could this be the start of the comeback? And this is what we wanted to see out of the five-time champion fighting through some adversity, play some defense where you hang your hat, get back on offense. So that was absolutely massive for Henry's confidence here. Julian Edelman, I settle down, okay? Just because Julian Edelman's on the field doesn't mean you have to get so pumped up. You, I know you saw him. I know you're. I know the second that you get home, you're copping him, aren't you? Oh, I have to. 97 overall, absolute stud out there, slotted Maddox. All types of abilities are, but here we go. Offensively, it's been a struggle for Henry. The pressure has gotten to him as Rob Gronkowski makes the catch, goes out of bounds, 34 yard line. Already Henry thinking about that time getting out of bounds. Yeah, and that's what you got to do. Check it down there, goes to the simple drag route. Dez continues to send that pressure, making a lot of adjustments, manning different people up. But Henry checks it down there. The drag was wide open, picks up a manageable five. Let's see if he can get into a groove though. On second and five. He just continues mm -hmm. to send that heat, and Henry not able to handle it. Third and five now for the five-time champ. Yeah, Henry went to the exact same play. Flood to the right side, tried to hit the drag. We saw that pressure out of, out of Dollar coming from that left side. Got the angle out. Great read right there. Bronk, nice, nice juke move back inside the 47-yard line. Henry working quickly. So you see what Dez is doing, right? Sending that pressure off both sides. He's basically leaving Gronkowski uncovered to guard with his user, right? Oh, no, that's dangerous. Oh, that could have been going the other way. Henry trying to get a chunk play. It could have been disaster. Tried to sneak it into the outside shoulder, but Dez makes a nice swat on the play. Going to verticals, try to just hit the, the fade route to the outside. Dez said, no, sir. 83% win percentage for Henry, and I don't know how many games he's been in a situation like this. Second down at 10, taking a shot to Irvin. He's got him, but the KO lights up and knocks it free. Oh, that was about to be an unreal precision pass right there. But you said it, that KO ability lights up. That's why you get all those KOs on your defense. Put himself in a tough third and 10. Uh-oh, that's a dangerous throw. Fourth down and 10. Dez has been monstrous. Three fourth down stops already. And you see Henry looking a little bit confused right there. I'm confused on that play. Was that a cross man? Was that a flat zone right there? Not sure, but that defender just shot down the drag. And once again, it's been like a million fourth downs for Henry. He's got to find a way to stay alive. This, I know it's early, but this could be your ball game. You've got to find a way to keep this drive going. Henry's going to motion Olave from right to left out of the bunch. Gronk and Reed still on the right side of that formation. You see the threat detector. Those are the blitzers. It's been picked up. But is anybody open? Throws it left side, Reed, feed and bounds. Big first down for Henry. Patience, patience, and more patience. He looked dead in the water. There was nothing open, but he waited, waited, and then the crossing route gets behind the user on the sidelines. Henry did not get nervous in the pocket and threw a beam. A deep sigh of relief for all fans of Henry out there. 19 years old, Austin, Texas native. Looking for his third straight Madden Bull belt. First and 10. Pressure off the edge. It's a throw to Reed right side. Fighting with Harold Carmichael. He will be taken down after a gain of five. Yeah, you see Des mixing with that DB fire too right there. So Cloud Flat was playing back. You know, looks at about 10 to 20 yards right there. Henry just checks it down to the two yard flat. Picks up a nice five yards. Now high ball to Gronk. You know, Gronk's going to find a way to get up there and pull down the high ball. Yeah, he's starting to cook here. This is where Henry likes to quick snap verticals in the red zone. It is verticals. 
I don't know if that was the read, though. Threw it into triple covered and was lucky that falls incomplete. Yeah. Tight that circle underwear. on the outside. Yeah, he did. He did have the flat, but goes to the tight end wheel. That's obviously been a you know very popular route, especially down here in the red zone. Dez was ready for it, though. Got kind of a weird uh, pass lead on that. And Dez with the... And credit to Dez. He knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. On second down. Throws it right side. There he's to the outside. It's Olave and the late breakup. Third down. Harold Carmichael was right there. He, it, he, it was open. He probably should have threw a second or two earlier. Carmichael with the with the KO. Unfortunate play for Henry. Even when Henry's moving the ball, it seems like a struggle. There he finds Reed. Good route combo. He'll go out of bounds at the six-yard line. First down, 36 seconds left in this third quarter. It goes over the tight slots. Goes with those dual wheel routes. Hitch triangle on the right side right there. Great play. Gets behind kind of to the outside of that running back. Now, first and goal down here in the six. So obviously, it gets really tight here in the red zone. See what Henry has cooked up. Watch that. Watch Andre Reed here. Three man rush. Rolling right with Brady. He's got a little bit of room. Waiting for that square route. It looks like along the back of the end zone. Good defense once again from Dez. Looks completely comfortable out there. Yeah, that was phenomenal defense right there. Henry's got to try to snap this before the end of the third. But Dez completely banked, blanketed Andre Reed there on the left side with that dual coverage. Circle maybe coming up. No, he's going to take off with Brady, and Brady's going to get into the end zone. A quarterback rushing touchdown TD that is very un-Madden 23-like, but he's on the board. He's cutting this Dez lead. Pocket presence phenomenal from Henry right there. And Tom Brady, too, the most unlikeliest candidate, but he's right back in it. That was a massive touchdown for Henry to get back in this. You get the defensive stop to start the second half. You go down the field, and you get seven Still plenty of time, but he's got to play more defense. Reminder, guys, make sure you use that hashtag Madball if you're tweeting about this game. You could see your tweet live on the air. As we see that fourth down pickup to Andre Reed, a massive play to keep Henry's hopes alive. And then second and goal, so Wiley takes off with Brady. You see that pocket presence. It's right up in there into the end zone. Big time touchdown for Henry to get back in. And now you shift a little bit of that pressure to Dez, yeah. but look, he looks cool, calm, and collected here. A little out route. Right there to Except 25. A little out route for 25. <laughs> we need the fours up in the chat. We're heading to the fourth quarter. Ten point lead for Dez. Just five minutes from finding out who will be our ultimate Madden Bowl champion. I'd expect Dez here to use a little bit of clock too after this play. Start to really slow this game down. Want to limit the possessions for Henry. Clock is on your side. There is your secret code, guys, for that Super Bowl ticket giveaway. Remember, it's a trip for two. All expenses paid to get your flight, your accommodation, your tickets. Secret code M23 GOAT. Visit MadamBowlGiveaway.com. Put in that secret code. Make sure you're getting those entries. Your last chance to enter is tonight. Second and nine over the middle. It's Byers. There goes Byers inside the 25 to the 22 yard line. Dez in business once again. Absolute laser there. Goes to bench, but puts the running back on that angle and has that short in elite ability. You know, bench, those corner routes, those out routes, they spread you to the sidelines. She come right back over the middle with a hatback angle route. Great play design. After Byers up the middle. Under four minutes to go. And this is where you want to talk about experience. Dez hasn't been here before. Uh, he's won that one belt, but this is where we find out about players. Clock management when you have the lead. It's a great point. And you've seen there, I would have liked to see him hike it at one or two on the play clock, but it doesn't To matter. the end zone! Irvin! Touchdown oh, for Dez! Uh, Come on, Once bro, again, he is able to put together a touchdown drive. Okay, is there anything this kid can't do? Built uh, for the moment. Dez comes up huge again. Well, with a big time touchdown, and he's feeling himself. Your jersey set your eye with your E. Come on. 24 to 7. Domination in this game. Three and a half to go. Peyton Tuma's moment might be here as Michael Irvin with another touchdown. Firing on all cylinders gives a little bit of that angry face, and you see the family excited in the back. What a touchdown, though, because Henry was starting to build some momentum, and Dez says no. I'm going to end this thing now. I'm going to go down. I'm going to get seven, make it even more difficult on King Henry. Brady, right side. He's got, I think, maybe the first open receiver the entire game. Chris Olave picking up a first down. Yeah, that's, that's the strategy in this situation, though. It's bend but don't break for days. You're okay with giving up that underneath stuff as long as he keeps that clock moving. Henry smartly, of course, gets out of bounds there, though. Henry in a tough spot. You really might need to settle for a field goal at some point here. Maybe you take it early, but three possessions, really tough. Let's bring in the entire crew. Nick Mazesco alongside Tyler Davis, one great user, Clef the God, and Boogs. Gentlemen, Boogs, I, 
I don't care if you picked Dez to win this game. You did not see the game going like this. No, you, you just did not see the game turning out like this at all. You expected, I expected most definitely both of these guys would play good defense on each other, but I didn't expect Dez to really play as, as good offensively as he's playing right now. Second down and 10. Henry stepping up with Brady looking right side. He's got him and doesn't get the feet in bounds. Nothing going Henry ways, Clef. And you think? You think Henry's going to have something to say to user after the game? Because he brought the gauntlet out. The mush is back. I told no. him don't bring the glove. He keeps saying, no, no. they believe in the glove, it's on them. No, the <laughs> glove has power, no, man. No, 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 and no. you keep mushing people no, no. for 100, 250,000. No, 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 no. It is Jordan moment, Listen, man. listen. That, no. This is on you. No, this is not on me. This is on Dez coming out here putting a, on a phenomenal performance. This is what we're not going to do. We're not going to take away from what Dez put together no, today. No, he's all about. That's, that's what we're not going to do. Not take it away. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know the, the, man, the, glove, the man packed a glove, the glove an entire gauntlet, but I don't want to take away for anybody. For this moment, this way he packed the glove. Listen, the glove is nothing but for entertainment. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want me to put it back up, I'll put it back up. Looking down the seam, can Henry get him? He does have him. It's Andre Reed into the end zone. Not quite over yet. He's got five belts for a reason. And with these 30-second play clocks, this game, it's not over. Now, he has to go out here and get a stop within this first three downs, or it is over. But with 30 seconds left, three timeouts, he still has some life. 24-14. The question is, does Henry have a stop in him? That's what he needs. He's he not. needs, I mean, technically, he needs two of them. He does. He's not dead yet. But it's going to be about that defense. And this is a this this drive coming up for Dez. This is one of those championship type drives. You want to win two hundred fifty thousand dollars. You want to win your second belt. You want to dethrone the king. You got to put him away right now. Here's the touchdown pass one more time. How good is that Andre Reed, by the way? Look, what had some breakaway speed. Yeah, that Andre Reed is really really good. He's he really gets open consistently. He's one of those newer cars that definitely you want to have on your roster when you're trying to construct your offense. I'm run commit first play. I, I got to run commit first play. If he pass, he pass. That's too early. If he pass, he pass. It is a run play. There's a little run defense there. Do you use a timeout here? It looks like Henry's going to let it go. Hold on to them all. Hold on. To, don't use any timeouts in this possession. If you get this stop, you want to hold on to them timeouts. They mean more than the time. Watch Michael Irvin over there. Let's have the two-minute warning still coming out. He could potentially get a throwaway or something like that in this situation, that, which essentially would be an extra timeout. Dez takes us all the way down to one. He will use the timeout. And it's smart right here to pass because, you know, it's going to the two-minute warning anyway. So it's really no risk to pass this ball because the clock going to stop anyways. Dez looking to become just the sixth person in MCS history with multiple belts. And that goes a long way. That could be the play we look at as sealing his victory as he picks up a first down and we've hit the two-minute warning. See Michael Irvin lit up, double me activated, goes with the high ball, picks up the first down, and now if you're Henry, you, you save him. Ugh, this is a tough call. You save him, but man, down 10, you, you might need to think about calling him soon here. It's getting really thin. Dez heard all the talk, heard everybody calling him the underdog, heard all the talk about six belts. Not many gave him a chance. And he has proved them all wrong today. Another first down. User, this kid's clutch. I mean, Des, he's different, man. He shows Ooh. that he's not afraid of the moment. He's not afraid of the big stage. Doesn't matter whether he's at home or face-to-face. -face. Des has proven to you that he's going to be one of those guys that oh, we're going to have shoot. to worry about. You know, we already know where Henry's at. His legacy is cemented. It, like Cliff said, to me, it, does, it didn't matter whether he won this live or not. But it's a lot of naysayers saying he has to prove it to them and do it face to face. You know, Henry, he's going to be back. And this, you know, even sometimes the best, the champ can take a, a knockout. You know what I'm saying? And Henry, with all three timeouts in his pockets, He's known what it's like to win one of these. He's known what it's like to lose one of these all the way back in the Madden Classic back in 20. He will continue to look for his first belt in live action. But as the clock runs out, we have just the sixth person in MCS history with multiple belts. You can call him the Destroyer. You can call him the Dez Throner. You can call him the champ. Peyton Tuma is your Madden 23 Ultimate Madden Bowl Champion.
that belt, young fella. $250,000 in his pocket, two belts in three live finals. Tyler Davis, what a start to this young man's career. Peyton Tuma, 17 years old from Newport Beach, California, has once again climbed the mountain, and he's dethroned King Henry, and he is the Madden 23 Ultimate Madden Bowl Champion. Impressive way to end the season. Folks, I see a head shake over here. Man, it, it, just an epic run by Dez, man. The, the run that he's been on is so impressive. It, it's really just one of those mind-blowing things where you just look at it like, you know what? For him to be able to do what he's done in Madden 23, come on the scene and, and really show you guys that, you know what, he's, he's, he's one of them too. I hear all the talk about Henry, but I'm, I am, I'm here. Clef, are we seeing what could be the rivalry of the ages born here in the Madden Bowl Championship. These two players are so far ahead of, of a lot of these players out here, and they are so competent at getting to these finals. Is this a matchup we're going to keep seeing? Yeah, I definitely do, and it goes, it's credit to both of their work ethic. You know, it's no secret why they're here. They put the time in, they put the work in, they believe in themselves, and, and credit to Dez, man. He went from somebody who was not really on the radar like that this year into turning himself into one of the greats, greats of Madden already with what he's done in one year. All, six months, seven months, he's turned himself into a household name. 17 years old. At 17 years old, he's doing something that Henry didn't do, winning two belts. He's doing something that, that nobody has done in terms of starting their career like this. And he puts $250,000 in his pocket. <laughs> Can you imagine having two hundred fifty thousand dollars in your pocket when you were seventeen years old? No, not at all. I, the, the amount of money I would waste, all two fifty would be gone. It, it would be gone before I even get it. it, it the problems I'd cause for myself would just be just ridiculous. And this is what the community needed, right? We needed someone to step up to Henry. Now we have a rivalry for the future that we can build upon with this sport. Henry was just dominating all the winnings, all the belts, and now Dez has solidified himself as a legit adversary, and he takes him down, and what a dominant win here for Dez. Not just the fact that he did this, but the way he did it. Going through the best player, I mean, that's how you want to see it. Going through the best player in the world and going out there and dominating. This was no fluke win, Clef. This was a championship moment, a legacy-defining moment. Yeah, and this is I'm the best player in the world moment. You know, he has a, a right to go in the next year saying, I'm the best player in the world. He'll be ranked number one for the MCS pre-rankers next year. And just, man, and, and going to Henry, man, sometimes you need these type of moments in your career. You need some adversity, you know. So I can't wait to see how he bounce back and just how Dez just keep pushing and, and extending his career on a crazy run. Well, let's throw it over to our man, one great user who has a special check presentation for Dez. First off, congratulations, Dez. On behalf of EA and the MCS, we present you, I say we like you came out of <laughs> my pocket, we present you with $250,000. Congratulations, hold this up. Right, you got good. a belt, but hold the check up. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Scary, bro. You were over there celebrating, man. Hey. You were over there being a part of the celebration. Hey, I was, I was. <laughs> hey we did it, Dad. Here is your crazy. bracket as we take a look at how this entire tournament, which stretched over awesome. three weeks' time, this is how it ends. The number two seed, he took a bye. He took down the 10 seed, Cole, user's mortal enemy. He took down Kiv, one of the legends of the game, and he takes down the GOAT Henry in the final. He is your ultimate Madden Bowl champion. Taking on $250,000 at just 17 years old. Let's bring in the champ, your ultimate Madden Bowl champion, none other than Dez. Dez, congratulations, my friend. Um, I don't know how you saw this game going in your head, but did you see it going this well? Because this from front to back, there was barely any, any stress for you out there. You played a perfect game plan. Is this how you thought it was going to go? You know, going into it, uh, you know, I've talked to people who played Henry. You know, you got to start the game confident. That's, like, the biggest key. Like, I started the game like, I, like it was just any other game. I think that was the biggest key. Like, I'm just playing that regular online head-to-head -head game like it was somebody else. Able to take down Henry, do it the way you did with defense. Uh, didn't really have to put together an offensive drive until about the, the end of the second quarter. Yeah. Um, but you've, you've shown that pressure 
the entirety of this tournament. You've loved sending five and getting some heat on the quarterback. Uh, is that something that's just uh, you found late in the year? Is this something you've been doing since the beginning of the year? Um, yeah, no, I started doing it at like the middle of the year, right before the Thanksgiving tournament, especially in this game where defense is hard to play as is. If you give people enough time, they're going to find the right the play, play. So if you just send pressure every play, you know, they're, they're, they're human. They're mortal. They're going to make a mistake once in a while. So, you know, that's just my, my, philo my philosophy. Yeah, Dez, you know, uh, I need you to go ahead and put this to rest. You know what I'm saying? People are going to go crazy about the glove. I don't know whether or not you know. We brought it out, you know what I'm saying? But no, look, whoa, whoa, he said we. we he we, said we. We, 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 we brought it out, you know what I'm saying? Like, tell the people, it was your preparation and hard work that propelled you to this win. It had nothing to do with no voodoo, none of that. No, yeah, no, it was just. It's an unanswerable question. Come on. <laughs> I don't even know what he's asking, but yeah. <laughs> That's an unanswerable question. <laughs> The better question is, are you happy that user didn't use the gauntlet to pick you and put that sort of hex on you? <laughs> I mean, nah, I don't really care. I really don't care who be Thank picking you. me before and after, uh, before the games. Uh, it doesn't really affect me. I know it's all entertainment. And it's fun to watch. So, I mean, if you pick me against me, we're, we're cool at the end of the day. Well, at the end of the day, you're taking home that belt. We actually have a special message uh, from Mike Madden, the son of the late, great John Madden, congratulating you on your win. Congratulations on winning the Ultimate Madden Bowl and taking home the $250,000 champion's check. You've represented the game at its highest level and are deserving of all the accolades that come with being a Madden Bowl champion. Enjoy the victory, and I look forward to seeing all that you accomplish in Madden 24 and beyond. As we take a look at some highlights from this win, I just, just a second, obviously, you know, you're 17 years old. It's hard to put these into perspective right now, so fresh after a win. But what does it mean to you to win this belt, the game that has Coach Madden on the cover, so much about Coach Madden, being able to represent the game like that, that's got to mean something. No, it means everything. You know, football's been my life literally for 17 years. You know, grew up playing, grew up watching, and now I'm playing the actual game John Madden needs to know. What, what John Madden means to football, I mean, it, it means everything, being like the face, I guess, of the competitive thing. Dez, man, congrats, first off. And then secondly, I want you to kind of talk about what was going on through your head in the second half as, a sec as we were kind of at halftime and you're going into that second half. How were you really, what were you feeling during that moment? And what was kind of the plan? Don't choke. <laughs> that was like my biggest thing. Like if you fold this, you're, you're like, it's, you're never gonna live this down. So just better not choke. You know, I wanted to play conservative. I think that first drive opening, I was a little too conservative. Uh, so that sec the second drive I got after he got seven, I was up 10, 17 to seven. I was like, okay, you gotta go get seven. Stop playing conservative. You know, still run the clock, but you know. Des, congrats. And I just want to ask you, did you have any extra motivation? You know, all the talk about Henry before this finals, how did that affect you mentally, and did that give you extra motivation to really get the job done? I mean, yeah, you know, Henry's obviously the best player in the game, uh, in competitive scene, but I mean, that, I'm, I really do feel like, I really did feel like going to the game that I was gonna win. And I, and I, you know, I look in the Discord, Twitter, I, you know, I'm getting added in all the mentions, nobody picked me. Like, it was just like, mm -hmm. it was me versus the world. I'm the only one who thought I was gonna win. That was really my motivation, it was me. Yeah, Des, congrats. I got two questions for you. First, twenty fifty thousand dollars What are you what are you doing with that? And then second, just the journey to get here, man. I don't think when you started, when you bought Madden 23 this year, I don't think you thought you'd be in this moment. You know, your dad must be so proud of it that you had that conversation with him. But just talk about the journey and then what are you doing with that money? <laughs> I mean, the journey's been insane. You know, the past year, the way that I've been able to develop in this game, it's it's really just in incredible. Like even in my eyes, it's incredible. I didn't even think I'd come this far. You told me last year when I was watching Henry Wesley in the final that I'd be here and I'd win the, the next year. I'd say you're out of your mind, but I mean, it's, it's been an amazing ride. You know, Dez, congrats, man. You put on a phenomenal performance. Did you really expect your defense to be able to dominate the game the way you did? Because let's be honest, the first two drives, you put up a shutout. I mean, yeah, I knew if I wanted to win, I would have to win on defense. Uh, I would have to set the tone early. And, you know, my keys to the game was, start out, was starting out quick. So the way I was able to get two stops back to back, I mean, that's really what set the tone. And I think that's what got him shook for the rest of the game. Like, whoa. Like, I don't think he's ever gone into a game and he's gotten stopped twice in a row like that, especially in MCS games. So I think that really shook him. Well, what's crazy is with that win, with just this year, you've moved into the top five in career earnings in the history of the MCS, just with what you've done this year. I mean, think about that. Two people who must be pretty happy about this one. 
Ardez's parents, they're standing by with our very own Synthony Freeland. Yeah, absolutely here. Um, two people who absolutely believed in Dez ahead of the game, his parents. Tell us what this win means for your family. I, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, like I said, it's really not about the money. It's just about how hard he's worked and how far he's come since he made this commitment, you know, a year ago. And mom, I know you have been just just back there, like all of the emotions going through. Just give us a run through now. Are you finally starting to calm down? We good? What are we going to do next? Where are we going to celebrate? Well, we're going to we're going to do yoga in the morning because I need it from from just the up the emotions of this game. But Peyton, you said that no one thought you were going to win. I thought you were going to win. I'm excited for you. And we're not going to charge you for the damage you did on the rage wall in your bedroom. <laughs> for all the prep work so rage rolls in bedrooms we did not know about that we just found out about that now just i know you were his coach in regular football you got to be his coach here tonight just give us one last like you know this is this is what is what is like pre-game your post game your after after in the locker room what would you say to him i just say enjoy the moment and like we tell him you know the next step forward just enjoy the moment and don't take this too seriously you know you've got a bright future ahead of you and um you know, we're proud of you. Back to the rage wall over there. Congratulations, Des. That's a lot of fun. Here's all I'm saying. They said they're not going to charge you for it. You've got the money to do it. <laughs> Top five in MCS earnings. I mean, maybe maybe just cover half it. Des, uh, from everybody, congratulations. Um, also, just you're taking home the first belt in person in three years. I mean, that's awesome. Go take that belt. Go celebrate with your parents uh, as they've been supporting you the entire uh, year long. Congrats. I can't wait to see what you do next year. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Go enjoy it. Go, uh, go give your parents a hug because I think they need one at this point. I, Mom's stressing over there. <laughs> She's right there. She's. I'm about to go give I'm like, <laughs> unbelievable. Moves into the top five in MCS earnings in just one year. Mm -hmm. I mean, and an unbelievable moment here having his parents here at 17 years old. Book, you love to see the support. So. Man, it, it's amazing to see. To, to, you know, as a mama's boy, to be able to see that moment right there. A guy just won 250 thousand, and to be able to go over there and walk over to your mom, give her a hug, stuff like that, man. That's one of them surreal moments that, that, that you know, right. honest, any, honestly, anyone that does something competitively, you want that moment. I'm glad you finally admitted you was a mama's boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because the way you fled Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Like Fresh Prince. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> West Philadelphia, born and raised, you know? Yeah. But look, let's be honest. You heard Dad say this is the first time I think I've ever seen Henry get shook. And you know what makes great champions is not how many times, you know, you can be crowned a champion and knock people out, but it's when you get hit. Can you take a punch and bounce back? And Dad showed you today, hey, you are the dominating this sport, but guess what? There, there are other players that's going to be hitting you right back in the mouth. Guys, let's get some final thoughts on not just an amazing season, an amazing tournament, being back in person. Clef, Dez is the ultimate Madden Bowl champion and has etched his name in Madden history. Yeah, man, I think just what a run by him. You know, what a year he's had. And, and the way he started the game today was just super impressive. Like you said, you really never see somebody come out and just – punch Henry in the mouth like that and just come out and start that fast. That was something I haven't seen before. And like you said, it had him kind of shook and kind of really got him rattled and off his game and playing completely out of character. But all credit to Des, the Madden Bowl was amazing. We had a lot of great games. It feels so good to be back in person, see all these emotions, see somebody get to celebrate with their family. And I just hope you have many more of these. Folks, I think it's safe to say that when you look in the grand scheme of things, Madden is – in great hands with the next generation. We've got such a great mix of the old guard and the new guard, and it just makes you look forward to Madden 24 all the more. Yeah, it, it makes you look at Madden 24 and say, you know what? I mean, we have two young guys. We have Dez, 17 years old still, and then you have Henry, who you know who's going to be back. That kid's just that special. It, it's one of those things where you say, you know what? I feel like Madden 24, we could potentially see one or two or three, maybe even four, you know, rematches. You know, you never know how far this thing can go. So I'm excited to see what this turns out. Ty, what more can be said about a season where we saw history with Henry, history with Dez, uh, moving from the remote world to the in-person world. I mean, this season had a little bit of everything. Man, it was amazing. I mean, what a journey it was. We're finally back to in-person events. You know, had a blast with you guys, seeing everyone out here. And just credit to Dez. I mean, that just shows the commitment that he showed to his craft, right? He had the, he had the conversation with his dad, said, I really want to take this seriously. And you heard him just say he was at home last year 
watching the Madden Bowl Finals. And that shows that this dream can be a reality to anyone if you put in the work and you believe in yourself. And that's exactly what Dez did. He wasn't really, he wasn't in these tournaments last year, showed up this year, put in the work, and he's a two-time belt winner in one year, and he's the Madden Bowl champion. So impressive. User, what more can be said uh, about this season? Are you throwing the gauntlet away? I think that's what people want to know. I think it's time. <laughs> I mean, this, away, this is crazy. This is, trash. Let's, let's be real here. Like, I, I, honest question. Do y'all really believe? Yes. A thousand percent. Oh, yeah. Use it on people you want to Voodoo. lose, man. It's real. No, it's no way. Stop it's using no it on way. people it's real. you want to win. Listen, that's just, it's just a glove. It's just a toy, man. No, man. It is just a no toy. Way. Let's be honest here. Dez was prepared. So, so what's more embarrassing, the fact that you, you know, 40 years old and you got a toy, you playing with toys, or the fact that you out here trying to mush people? The fact that you trying to disrespect me and call me 40 is I thought you were 37. So. Thank you. Man. Should we should we take, the, 40, should we take the gauntlet outside? So this is crazy. Like, should we take the gauntlet outside office space style? Just just stomp it, baseball bat. Like, just make sure it doesn't get on the plane. Yo, why are y'all firing shots and trying to take? What's the record with that thing? We got not know. good. I mean, you got to ask Donnie. On, Moore. We got to be real. I'm gonna be honest. I think the record with the gauntlet is like 0 and 23. Yeah, it's not That's good. What? Come on, but, you know, but, that but listen, I felt like if it was any way. moment to prove that it was just, you know, love, personal. it That's was this. Personal. I got personal beef with that because you definitely done used that and, and, and picked me to win plenty of times. He did. You I, did. did. I did. But Come feel on. bad about I, that? I, th I thought true. you had the, the power to, you know, to do something. Wow. So I thought wow. Henry had the power. If he don't got the power, nobody do. Maybe. Well, before Maybe. we get out of here, we got to do one more dump truck giveaway. I know y'all have been waiting for this one. Yes, indeed. Let's do another dump truck. Our final one of the evening. It's the one that includes that 99 overall tribute Tom Brady. Hitman. It's got D-Hop. It's got the warden. The winner, Bam underscore 3410. Bam 3410. Congratulations. You are taking home that dump truck. Season is not over just yet. Relive the magic of the MCS 23 season on TBS on February 13th, 20th, and 27th at midnight Eastern. There will be a special presentations of the Ultimate Wildcard and Ultimate Madden Bowl on TBS. Again, that starts Monday, February 13th at midnight Eastern time. What a year it has been. Please, oh please, can we not be back remote ever again? Let's get back here next year, ladies and gentlemen. For our producers, Wilfredo Perez and Chad Bates, for director Dave Saunders, for Clutch the God, Books, Tyler Davis, and one great user, I am Nick Mazesco. Thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. Des is your ultimate Madden Bowl champion. We'll see you next year. There are your competitors, the youngest belt winner in history, Des, taking on the five-time champ, the Madden Goat Henry for $250,000. As the clock runs out, we have just the sixth person in MCS history with multiple belts. You can call him the Dead Destroyer. You can call him the Dead Throner. You can call him the champ. Peyton Tuma is your Madden 23 Ultimate Madden Bowl Champion. You. Parading through the city, the whole block come out for you. We just getting started, y'all finna see what we bout to do. Boy, stop, you ain't here, I'm the real truth. Hunters real blues, trips on them still new. Shopping at Dover Street, I'm dripping like mildew. They say you don't visit the hood, no, I still do. A real one, only difference, my bill's bigger. I'm still with ya, I just got rich a little quicker. The same man, God handed me his game plan. I ain't perfect, far from it, what can I say, man? I feel unstoppable, losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright lights, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. It felt like yesterday, I was just driving my grandma Chevrolet. From South Carolina to Maryland, I take the jet today. I'm still on to come up i'm still building my resume i still got a lot to prove but still i'm heavyweight i still gotta watch my moves they try to defamate my character but i won't let them it's always checkmate i'm still screaming the world hope she mother nature's my first shawty watch how i go ballistic and i'm so terrific accounts is copacetic i don't need no permission but i'm so indebted to this game that I love, and most of all to the man above. Now check me out, now it's just that Fridays, we're serving the greens, before I was popping.
I was nursing my dreams. Now I ain't never been a gangster, but I know a few things. I just rather get the bag and start collecting the rings. But I done spoke too much, close curtain and scene. I am not a human being, I'm a full machine. I ain't holier than thou, I don't judge, I sing. Just staying down for the come up till I rain.